he nods as you pass. He says, hey, friends. There's something off about his tone, though. Or his tone, excuse me, though. I don't suppose one of you might be willing to part with a stamina potion, would you? I'm headed toward Gloomhaven, but I've just come such a long way, and I'm not feeling too good about the stretch I have left. So with the clank of his sword, sheathed against his armor, and a loud groan, he stands up and says, I'll pay you well for it. So our option A is sell the man a stamina potion, or B, politely decline and move quickly on our own way. I mean, probably sell him, but I don't know mechanically what that would be, you know, what that would mean. It'd probably mean that we have to tap, like somebody has to tap an item. So that Taking we would start for inventory or something? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be permanent, because that's just not how items work. Like, you, you wouldn't lose it permanently, but it'd probably be the kind of thing where you would not be able to use it for this mission type of thing. But I'm overstocked, and this mission is pretty easy. Like, this is basically run to the end kind of a mission, so I don't think we'll even have any trouble with it, so I'm fine with selling. Sure. Taco? All right, so, yep. Ben? I mean, I don't have one, though, I don't believe. Uh, you know, that's the thing, is it doesn't, like, the, the stamina potion isn't a required item for anybody to have, so I'm not sure what it would even, you know, equate to. Like, what, what is this going to be other than pick a random item that is, uh, you know, that somebody has, because... Like you that's could, true, because you could, we didn't have any. Yeah, exactly. You could pull this, you know, when you very first, like, the very first mission you ever have, and you wouldn't, like, nobody would have any items, so... Anyways, try uh, state two two G. Set state two two. Flip. Yep, flip. Uh, let's see. We do have Fox, so Fox is the music sign, so we'll get the additional thing. Okay. Uh, they one collected mind of stamina potion. Uh, okay. After some oddly tense negotiations, you are able to agree upon a price. With one hand firmly on his sword hilt, the man grabs a coin pouch with the other hand and extends it towards you. You exchange goods and continue on your journey without further incident. You gain 10 collective gold, but since we have box, we gain an additional 10 collective gold. Alright, so that'd be 20 gold. Pay one collective. I mean, it does look like Split it is. between us, or? Yeah, well, it's 20 collective gold for the group. Obviously, whoever is giving up the potion would be. Uh, would probably get that, but I don't. Does anybody even have. I don't have a minor, I have a major. Uh, I think I have a major as well. So yeah. you've got a major. Got Fox, a major. Fox has a minor. So we could sell hers, but she's not here. Uh, uh, let's see. I mean, we the event has to happen, but we can. if she's not going to be playing tonight, then I'll just put the event on her board. Um, she hasn't replied, so I don't know if she's, if she's just showing up late or what, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put this down here. We won't like nobody gets the twenty gold. What we'll do for, for what we'll do for now is I'll just set this to the side, and then Fox can just well. I mean, yeah, I don't want to decide for her if nobody else has a. Yeah, I think everybody else has majors. Yeah, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Yeah. So we'll we'll deal with that one later when Fox shows up, uh, or next time we play or whatever, and she can get the extra ten because the the major or sorry minor stamina potion is worth ten. And she would get 20 for it, so she could essentially just buy it back from the shop and still save it, still get an extra 10 gold. So it worked out in our she favor. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So she would just get an extra 10 gold, basically. So that profit there. You know what, actually? We'll just or do that. Ownership. Yeah, just, I'll just, because it, assuming that she just <laughs> mm -hmm. wants to buy it back, uh, you know what, though? She might want to lose it so that she could buy the major instead. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold off on it because she, she still has the minor, probably wants the major, I'm guessing. So, all right. Uh, so that's the first. Uh, next would be Becky, and it'll be a city oh. event. God. Okay. <laughs> so shuffle this stack here. There we go. All right. You gotta look for one that's short yeah. again. There are some events that that's are longer right. than we want. So. <laughs> that right. was not bad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Oh God, tiny ass writing. All right. Hold, hold After your, a night hold of zoom button. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> After a night of revelry at the Sleeping Lion, you head out into the streets and notice a suspicious man in black robes skulking towards an alley. You've been hearing reports about a cult inside the city calling themselves the Ravens and performing all sorts of terrible acts. Perhaps this is one of them. Option A, follow the man in an attempt to discover the Raven's lair. Option B, confront him on the spot and turn him over to the authorities. Follow. I'll say follow him. Yeah, I think follow him. Ben? Alright, so that's... Everybody want to follow then? I'll go follow. Yeah. Alright. Good. State 2. Alright. We ain't no narc. 
<laughs> uh, oh shit, that's your class, isn't it, Becky? Uh, what is it? Yes. Using the night like a cloak, you follow the man unseen and unheard. Eventually, he stops at a small dwelling nestled under the west wall of the city. Unlock sacrifice pit seventy eight. Yes. All right. So that otherwise, yeah. Yeah. The otherwise obviously doesn't happen because we actually have your class, Becky. But see, what would have happened here is this would have gone back in the deck and we could have pulled it again later. But because we have your class, it you know finishes this one. So uh, sacrifice pit seventy eight. Uh, what, what is the grid? What does it say, Becky? Uh, What's it say after 78 on the card? B14. B14, okay. Oh, that'll be way over here. Oh, duh, it's in the city. Alright. There we go. Alright, so we can do that mission at any time. I'll go ahead and set that one aside so that I can make notes of it. Alright, so that was before, technically, that was before the last mission. And now I need to do the ones before this mission here, uh, which is the ice crag that leads to the dragon thing. Uh, so, Sako, next one's yours, if you want to pull a road. So shuffle this here. All right, shuffle. And then pull one off. <coughs> pull one off. All right, walking among some foothills, you enter a narrow valley and find a large pile of stones blocking your way. Clearly a rock slide has occurred here recently. You move closer to the pile and despair at just how large the stones are. Only someone of great strength and skill could clear a path efficiently. Option A, attempt to clear the stones from a path. Option B, backtrack and find a way around the stone-filled valley. All right, so option A is probably going to have like a class requirement for like the brute or maybe the Kraghart probably. Yeah, one, yeah. Of the, one of the, you know, tanky style classes. Uh, and we don't have any of them, so we can we can try it, and there's probably going to either be no effect or a negative effect, or <coughs> uh, or we can backtrack and find another way, which could have its own negative effect. With a slip disc. Yeah, yeah, doing deadlifts of heavy rocks probably not a good idea for our group. I would say just backtrack it. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably safest. All right, then Sako, right click and set it to state three. State three. And then flip it. Flip it. <laughs> Great. Side turn. Oh, wow. Sign turn around. After some backwards progress, you find another path through the foothills and work your way through it. Unfortunately, it leads you directly into a den of wolves, and they don't seem too happy about your sudden arrival. You fend them off, but they leave you wounded. All right. I'll start scenario with wound. Awesome. Yep. Now that one... Uh we'll need to go back into the deck and then next time you know we'll maybe remember to choose the other one we'll see <laughs> the other one's probably bad too without having the strength characters but still all right uh last one will be another city event so i'll shuffle them and pull one off it is uh the scene is typical a nervous looking man stands in front of your table at the sleeping lion you eye him lazily you eye him lazily until he speaks I was um, told to meet you, or sorry, told you might be able to help me, he starts. I was in the corpsewood conducting some uh, business when my partners and I were attacked by vermlings. I barely escaped with my life, but my partners weren't so lucky. One of them was carrying a valuable, or carrying something valuable, an artifact we managed to find in our uh, business. It's very important that I get it back. I followed the vermlings back to their nest, and I can assure you they have many valuables. I'll show you where it is, and you can take whatever you want. Just bring me back the artifact. So either accept the man's deal, or B, demand payment for the job up front. So either one is going to unlock the emission, presumably, unless unless he gets like offended and doesn't tell us about it if we try to do option B. What do you think? Yeah. Lose, lose on this one, but let's say let's just go for it. Just accept the deal as it is? Sure. Yeah. Ben? All right. Sounds like close. <clears throat> All right. So accepting the deal then. Uh, Alright, so it's another mission. Uh, it is. It says, The sweaty man is all too eager to give you the details of where to find his nest. Uh, once you... One, you clear... Well, so that's, that's just a typo on the card. It says, One, you clear the vermlings, instead of once, uh, and find the artifact. You should be able to locate a large staff of, stash of valuables in a pit behind the main camp. Take whatever you want, just return the artifact to me. 
you smile and nod. After taking the valuables, you should be able to squeeze quite a bit of extra out of this fellow when you return. And it's unlock Vermling Nest, which is uh, mission number 94 at F12. That is... Probably end up having to bring him back to Necronomicon or something. It's funny you say that. There's <laughs> there's one I was literally just dealing with in uh, Baldur's Gate earlier today. Uh, 90, was that 94 on that card? Uh, it is 94. Seven. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So, unlocked those. And that is it for our events. And still no fox and no. Yeah, no response. Okay. Alright. Let me put these away. We can get started. Um, this mission here was the the one to go after the the Drake, the Elder Dragon thingy up in the mountains. Um, the the mission itself is, I think, is going to be an easy one for us, but we'll see because there's a bunch of annoying enemies in the middle that we have to get past. Uh, but the introduction says uh, the Copperneck Mountains are not an accommodating or are not accommodating. Beyond the pass, the weather gets progressively worse the farther north you travel. Your packs are unbearably heavy, the cold is in your bones, and then you start climbing the ice crag. Without yet having seen any signs of the giant winged beast, you wonder whether all this trouble is even worth it. Multiple times you contemplate turning back, dreaming of the warm glow of the sleeping lion's hearth. The inn, the sleeping lion. Uh, but you begin to hear some, uh, something strange. Your ears pick up a screeching sound in the wind. It's not large, possibly even just the wind flowing through a small space, but still it is something. You move forward and you see, and then you see wolves. They are right upon you, white fur amongst the flurries of snow. More uh, damn wolves. Yep, <laughs> just after we got wounded for the start of this, too. Um, special rules, add two minus one cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect, so anybody that has that perk that ignores scenario effect will not be doing that. I think Ben and Becky both have that, right? Uh, let me double check, but I think so. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes. All right. Check that for mine. Uh, check you have it as well, Sako. That's right here. Yeah. It's the last one for you. All right. So all three of you guys have it. I don't think I do. I don't think the Jaws of the Line classes even have that as an option. Nope. So I'll have two minus one cards to add. Um, which, thankfully, this mission here, I don't think it's going to... Well, we, we can kill them, but we don't have to. The mission doesn't require that we kill anything here. It's just a run to the end of the thing. Um and it isn't all that long, so I think we can probably be okay, but it is all characters have to make it, not just one person. Um, so I added those to my deck, but it says, uh, escape occurs when all characters are either standing on an exit A or have become exhausted while standing on an exit. Oh, wait, when all characters are either standing on an exit or have become exhausted while standing on an exit. If any character becomes exhausted while not standing on an exit, the scenario is lost. Okay, so yeah, we do all have to make it to the end, but it doesn't matter if we die as long as we get to the end. Uh, but if anybody doesn't make it, then then we fail. Uh, there is a treasure chest. Um, oh, yeah, it's up here, yeah. So there's a treasure chest in the middle. Um, it is basically tons of wolves in the middle here that we have to get past. Um, and then open the door, and then a bunch of rocks that have to, and traps that have to be, like, either jumped over or, or you know, bypassed. Uh, and then another door, and then it's just run to the end. But the spitting drakes, there's two kinds. There's spitting drakes and rending drakes here. Um, and I think they do immobilize, um, and then the wolves can definitely do immobilize. So, like we, we basically, you know, we want to try to get to the chest and then just rush to the end as, as quick as we can. Um, we'll start without Fox, because I don't want to try to run her, her character through it. Um, because hers is, you know, a little more complicated, but, uh, we'll start without, and if she, if she, you know, shows up, then, then we can just jump her in, in the middle, you know, with wherever the middle of the group is or something. <laughs> Sound good? Yep. Yep, sounds good. All right. We'll grab our guys and put ourselves, oh, you guys already did, on the board here. I'll go there. My movement isn't great on this character, so. You got yours, G? Yep, it is. Here we go. All right, bring my cards up. And my favorite. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started then. We'll pick our first cards and we'll start the round. Oh, shit, I think it is messed yours up, Sako. I accidentally turned a card there. Let's drag across the, the screen. Uh, the zoom button it. again. 
uh, for assuming a card for... Well, I have mine set to F. I'm alt not sure. Controller. Yeah, it might be Alt for you. I'm not sure. Alt. Okay. Oh, Alt. Yep, got it. Yeah, I have mine changed. Alright. Um, Run the gun. Yeah. <laughs> but we do have to either, you know, open a path by killing some wolves at the end of this tunnel here, or uh, try to jump over them, but obviously we'll need jumps later on too, so probably don't want to waste too many of them at the start. Uh, they do all have retaliate as well. So we probably want some ranged attacks. Oh yeah, we gotta start with a uh, wound. Um, I can stun either Hound three or Hound two, and give them a wound. Um, you mean from right now, from the first round? Yes. Wow. Okay. You could. Do you, do you need yes, to move though. first because you would be able to see him where you're at now, but you move up and. Yeah, I'll okay. be up here. Okay. And then I can stun either this one or this one, because I'll be in range. Alright. I'll see, let's see, because I need to... Oh, should, should I even play my favorite? Because we're just going to try to run anyway. Is there anything we're going to have to kill through this? I mean, we have to move through, but I don't think any of them are particularly tough. Yeah, there's not like a boss or anything. Budgie? When we start moving that way, they're going to start moving at us too, so it'll probably... Open up a way for us to start moving through. That's true. Maybe just if yeah. we have to whack one on the way, but otherwise probably just start running for it, right? Yeah, we don't want to get too surrounded either. But yeah, that's that, that is right. They will because then they're well, they're hounds, but they do move uh, uh, pretty fast if I remember right. So uh, I think uh, maybe I won't bother playing the favorite because I could use the bottom half of the favorite as an immobilize with a, a bigger, basically. Usually when I play the favorite, it's you know a card that is permanently up, which means I never get to play the bottom half of the favorite. But the bottom half of the favorite has a decent immobilize and and a move four, so it's it's a good one to you know to use for that. And this might be a good time to not bother playing it. So I think I'll do that instead. Uh, Becky, I'm probably going to end up either right in front of you or right above that hex that you pointed at. Um, okay. So we're in that area there, and then I will. Uh, well, that's that's true. That actually would be a waste of that until they've been moved. Taco and, and Ben, where do you guys think you're? What, what's your plan? I'm gonna start moving south. Um, I can only move a few spots, but I'm gonna start uh, chipping away, or at least um, status effect uh, on Hound, possibly two, five, or three. Okay. <clears throat> um, should I throw out one of my pets as a meat shield, or are we going to be in this room long enough for that to matter? Two, three. I probably, I probably wouldn't. For the door. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be all that effective just yet, only because it would be you know kind of early. Well, I, so all the hounds are, would would focus on it if we can get past it and and you know leave the pet closer to them while we move away. Uh, but the downside would be is that he, you know, he'll die in one hit probably because he's just going to be surrounded. So probably wouldn't last very long. So we're probably just going to start moving down that way then. Okay. If I move that so soon though, it's going to end up being a waste. Maybe that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna intentionally go a little bit later to to assess what the you know what the room looks like at that point later than I typically do at least. Got my cards ready. Me too. I'll be going a little later too. Just see if the wolves go first. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna get those wolves to run easier. towards us for me to even do anything to them. So yeah. they'll still end up creating kind of a blockade if they are surrounding anybody. And we'd still have to, you know, punch a hole through, but we might be able to do that on just one of the regulars and ignore the elites and just run. Yeah, that won't be a problem. Yeah. Remember, though, they do have retaliate, so we don't want to hit them if they're in melee, if you can avoid it. <clears throat> How much hit points do they... How many hit points do they have? Okay, so the, the reddening drakes, they both wound on attacks, so all their attacks will wound, uh, but they only have either 9 or 11 hit points, so they're not too bad. Uh, same for the spitting. Well, spitting drakes muddle when they attack, and they're nine or fourteen. Yeah, so these aren't too bad. They just all have, you know, they all do something when they attack, either rend or uh, retaliate. 
sorry, or uh, muddle or wound or retaliate. Starting the round. Uh, oh, I didn't pick my battle goal. I'm just going to put two up here for Fox, and I'll just leave them on there. Uh, I didn't pick battle goal, though, yet. Uh, she obviously didn't either, but she's not here. One sec. I think I can do that pretty Okay, uh, should be able to start the round now. There we go. So we'll just ignore the Zeusinger at the initiative tracker here. Alright, so the dogs are moving first. Uh, move plus zero. And muddle, but I don't know that any of them are going to be able to reach us. Let's move five, actually. So hang on. Starting with the elites. It is two, three, six, and the one is this one. Okay. So move five. Get to there, which is right where <laughs> Becky is going. Mm -hmm. That is unfortunate. <laughs> That's going to cause problems. Uh, God damn! I thought I went fast enough. <laughs> sure, that'll let, oh, 50, <laughs> Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're, they're going to block us in right at the top. That's going to suck. Uh, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have a wall of elites that we have to fight through. And then the regulars are move four. Can get to there, and uh, he actually wouldn't go any further because that's closest to uh, Fox or Becky. All right, so that's them. Uh, that would be Becky, or sorry, that would be Fox. Uh, and now it's your turn, Becky. All right. Well, I mean it's fine. <laughs> it does. It does mess up a lot of plans. I. I well, shit. I actually didn't a big hit card either so yeah me either I could have done something real cool <laughs> but for now I will use my cloak so I turn invisible all right which was the intention I could have used a different card for that now that they're close damn it <laughs> all right uh we will yeah fuck it we're still gonna do this all right so we're going to attack uh, yeah, let's attack this guy. So we'll attack town two at range three with wound and stun because I'm invisible. Alright. So he is stunned. Or stunned. Right there. Ooh. It takes forever to get back down here. Yeah, if you, okay. um, you could remember you can save camera locations. And then when you hit oh. that space thing to to apply a status, you then you can hit the hotkey to automatically snap it back to the camera saved you know location. Like I have saved. How do I do that? Uh, it is in the hotkeys real quick, because like, it's that's really handy to have for this. So let me find that real quick, and I'll, I'll walk you through what to do there. Um, I think it is by default. I think it's control one, two, three, four, like control one, control two, uh, to save. Try that. And then camera saved. Yay. Yeah, okay, and then it's to, to snap back to it is shift, and then that same number. So move your camera far away, like hit the space to, to apply a status, and then hit shift one or whatever, and it'll snap you back to the location that you've saved. Neat. Thank you. Yep. I saved okay. just for, for, you know, you can you can set these up after your turn there if you want, but uh, I saved one, like, right over my character panel, uh, one over at the map, and, like, you know, at the game area, and then one over on the map on the right, you know, basically, you know, areas that I have to snap to quickly, and then it's a little quicker to, to kind of navigate that way. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. All right, well, it's just an attack of one, so... Oh. Oh! Well, that gets rid of my wound, right? What? The rolling heal self one. Again, curse rolling. Yep. Okay. 
All right. And so plus one. So add two. curse to yeah. So two damage and add curse to him and wound to him as well. Well, add a curse to the deck and wound him. Yeah. And then I'm just going to use my movement to go up here, and since I'm invisible, he can't go through me, at least. Okay. And, yeah, that guy's stunned, so he can't go anywhere. Alright. That's my turn. Right. Oh, and I get to add another curse, because now I'm next to them after I moved. There nice. we go. Alright. I am initiative 51, so I'm up next, and then uh, Ben, you're after. Uh, so initially, I was thinking that we wouldn't really fight and we would have rushed through these guys, but so much for that, because they've all piled up, so I may want to actually use the favorite now the correct way. Um, I could get some kind of tangential damage against them, I guess, if I just bounce back and forth there. We're all going to be kind of stuck right in front of these guys anyways until we punch a hole. The ones that we need to kill, by the way, to get through this are these two. So, if Becky, if you stay there, as long as we get these two dead, we can run. You said I'm saying? I can kill him next round. Okay. So, in that case, then, if we can kill this one quickly, the other ones will still try to pile around us, and that's fine, as long as they can't, as long as they don't block these, which we're going to try to fill on our turns here, because, you know, we'll be able to move before them. So, as long as we fill these and they can't surround us, you know, if they can get behind us, that's fine, but as long as they, as long as this one, Becky kills next round and she can do it early enough, if we can get this one dead, we can run. You see what I'm saying? So we can kind of create, you know, a tunnel uh, by using those two there. Uh, but I'm going to have to kind of do some damage to these guys just because, you know, those are the cards that I chose. Uh, you know, because all plan or no no plan survives contact with the enemy. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and play the favorite the normal way. Then uh, there won't be an attack this turn, but I'll just I'll put it up like normal. And then I will do the bottom of disorienting barrage for a move two, and then all adjacent enemies suffer one damage. I can only actually move one, but I'll move here. Uh, actually, no. I will do the... Yeah, I'll move two. I'll do the move two to here, because that makes both of these guys suffer one damage. And then it is uh, move one. All adjacent enemies suffer two damage. So I'll move there, and this guy will suffer two more. It's not a two more. And then I get... Oh, shit, that's a lost card. <laughs> that was not smart. <laughs> All right, uh... So that is it for my turn. Uh, ben, your turn. All right. That's got a beep. That was probably Fox. So give me one sec here. Uh, favorite is going there. And Disorienting Barrage is a loss. That is one experience for that. And two for the favorite. Oops. Nope. Bring me to three. All right. What you doing, Holmes? First, I thought I was going to lose my movement card because it was a move of five I was going to start going for the door but then I remember that I used my jump one just in case so I'm hopping over these fucks alright yeah you're you're probably going to have the, the most trouble or at least you usually have a lot of trouble with movement so you getting to the other side already is probably good except that they're going to come after you too so that sucks but once we get a hole knocked through them it won't be so bad alright and then I was going to uh, babe are you going to kill that elite on your next turn yeah. Like yeah, your auto kill thing. Okay. Yeah. Right, then I'm just gonna do the top of my other one and just do a basic attack so it's melee instead of range. Okay. And just Are hit you auto kill hound one or hound two. Uh. Hound one, uh, right? Hound one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If she's gonna insta kill hound one, but I, this is the one that we need to like throw damage at, uh, which is what Ben was just saying. He's gonna do a melee. Basically, the card would be, it was supposed to be a ranged 4 attack too, but if you tried to do a ranged attack on this guy that's right next to him, the one that we need to kill, then it would be disadvantaged. So then you're saying you're just going to do it as a as a standard basic attack? Yeah, I'm just going to do a standard basic attack, attack excuse me, because that's all the movement that I have. So I'm just going to do a regular attack at how floor. Sure. Oh, why am I down 7 hit points? <laughs> that didn't take any damage. There we go. I was going to say. Uh, no, I said, it, was, uh, it was from last mission, yeah. At, at target rolling, I think it said. Uh, oh shit! Well, yes, but you, it would still be melee, so that would oh, kind of ignore that one. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going. I mean, assuming that you, well, you already said actually, yeah, it's a basic attack, but yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Yeah. So attack three then. Well, could he have moved here instead? If you wanted to. And yeah. hit both. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. 
Yeah, yeah, I had enough movement to go there too if I wanted to. Yeah, it would have been the same, so. Okay. So both of these shares? Yep. So attack three on right. both. Alright. Uh, it does mean retaliate one from each of them, though. Mm. Okay. Work? Yeah, okay. Just like it. And wound. Cool. Because that's at the end of my turn, right? Wound? It's at the end of your turn, you take a hit. Start of your turn, I think. Start of your turn. Okay, so I would have already taken yeah, a hit. Start, yeah, it would have been. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that is it. Alright. And Sokka, it's your turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and I guess if I drink this potion of healing, it'll feel. it'll uh, fix that wound, right? Yep. Ugh, I hate to waste it so early, but I have to. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and do the potion. Take off the wound. The potion would, so you technically take the wound first, meaning you would be at 11 hit points, and then drink yeah. the potion, which would get rid of the wound, but you would get the heal back too, so you can ignore it. As it comes back, yep. boom. All right, let's pull up my cards. Sorry, I'm getting my Gloomhaven legs back here. Speaking of it. So would uh, Becky, you? I had a heal one rolling self thing, is what I drew. So it would have healed it and gotten rid of the wound. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind then. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do then is I will use the uh, top portion of nightmarish affliction, targeting two characters. I will target Hound number three and Hound number two. So that's a clear shot. Uh, so this will be. Oh shoot! Sorry, I just took off something. Uh, he had a wound. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I put the wound back. Yeah, I'm not used to the controls for this anymore, and I keep accidentally rotating shit. Okay. Uh, how number two uh, attacking now? Uh, also, that adds darkness, I believe. Yep. Adding darkness now. Boom. All right. Attack modifier. Plus two. Nice. So three plus two, damage. three damage. Three. And put poison uh, on it. Poison and, and curse. curse. Yep. I'll add your curses for you. Thank you. I can remember where the button is. There it is. And same thing for hound number two. Negative one. Shoot. So, so zero it's damage just a to flush, hit, but it is but still poison. Poison and another curse. Yep. And I have the curses already, so those are done. Alright, then I'll use the bottom portion to move two willingly next to these two. Okay. Which is gonna cause, I believe it's a curse for one adjacent enemy, so I'll just say I'll curse hound number two. Yeah, those the, the curse goes into their deck anyways, but yeah, yeah so it actually yeah. technically it affects all enemies, but, mm -hmm. but it works the same way. Cool. That's five Load curses them. already in the enemy deck. So load them up with curses. Yep. yep. Alright, ending the round. Uh, let's see. I can. He's only got five hit points left. I can probably get that guy dead. Uh, Becky, how quickly will you be able to get this guy, uh, the Hound One, the Elite, dead? Uh, definitely first round. Like first quarter. Uh, or yeah, first quarter. Okay, I can I can kill Hound Four, but I need to land on his spot. So I'll try to go early. Um, and then, I, like, because I, I'll need to pick up my favorite, I'm gonna throw the favorite at him, and then, and then land there. So that's just a move three for me. But uh, I need to make sure that I can land where Hound Four is right now. Uh, shoot. How early are you going? Oh, I put wind up too, didn't I? Yeah, I put wind up. Uh, let me see. Uh, I can go extremely early. Okay. Yeah. And That's you're going to be in what spot? Uh, where Hound 4 is right now. Are you going to be in his spot? <laughs> yep. <laughs> then I will do this one. Because there's only a two number difference. So. 
this so I can move. Let me do this one. Um. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, I need to go... I, I mean, I guess I could jump if I needed to, but I need to go after you, ideally, because I need that oh. spot to be emptied. Okay. So, oh. when are you going? <laughs> um... Well, it. I can jump over him if I need double, to. It's double digits. Okay, but but early. it's yeah. Okay. <laughs> Same with mine. Mine. So <laughs> it's either it's either two faster, but then I can't move. Uh huh. Or I take the two slower and get up Quick here somewhere. Question: Is anybody going to use the wind this coming round? Um, I probably won't need it. I like I I have it. You know, I could use it, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. So I can probably could I use it. Yeah, you can go ahead. You can count on it. And having that one, that's fine. Uh, Does anybody need the darkness? Three of your discarded cards. Uh, I don't. I don't definitely don't need the darkness. I can. I'll, that's fine. I'll jump, Becky. I think I'll go before you. Um, yeah, I don't need the darkness either, and I think I'll. I, I can jump over him if he's. If the, well, I'm gonna. Like I mean, I'm gonna move either way, so. But that's the fastest card I have that has a move on it. <laughs> okay. That would allow me to get out of the way, so. Well, for Ben and Sako then, well, Sako it really is, is more so because you're, cause you're up above Sako. Uh, that path should be open by, you know, pretty early in the first quarter, um, as long as as long as you get through that is the thing. So where these two hounds are right now, they'll it'll fill back in because as soon as the hounds go, they'll probably you know jump back into those spots there. Um, because they'll be trying to get around uh, uh, Ben's character, but if you can get into one of those so that they can't get, you know, so they can't block you, you'd need one, two, three, you need to move three. I'll be landing here. I have to land on this one. So if you can land here, then that would be a safe passageway for you to be able to get out. Becky, where okay. are you going to land? Uh, I could have muddled and uh, cursed them all again and really screw them over if you want. If you're stuck, stuck on that side, though... You, we, you'd end up dying because you're not going to be able to get back through and you can't kill them on your own and we have to run. Like, we don't need to kill them. You just have to, we have to get out of there. You have to get down south of them. Okay, let me make a change then. Um, I can get to, with a jump or without if I end up going first or you do in one of these two spots. Okay. This, I'm going to be landing here. I have to land there oh. to be able to pick my favorite up. Um, but if Sako, if you can get here, that'd be a move three for you to Hound yeah. One, where Hound One is now, and that that'll be that spouse spot will be empty. Depending early. on if the Hounds move, it will be early, yes. But if the Hounds move before you, Sako, then they could fill that spot back in. Did I hit some of the other Hounds, or should I just start moving since you and since Jerry and Becky are going to be part of that path? You know what, actually, now that you're on the south side, G, if you can drop, like, a tanky-ish pet and then move south, that'd be good. Because that, that would, you know, draw all of their attention to the tanky-ish pet, at least long enough for you to be able to get away from them so that they don't try to hit you. And all right, do you want on. him here, or do you want him here? Because, uh, yeah, obviously, so one of these squares around me. Yeah, I mean, if, probably the one south of you. Right here? Because that's... Cool. South? Well, because yeah. what happens there is that if, if he's there, they all have to gather around him and hopefully will already have, you know, been able to move. Uh, but it kind of depends when you're going to go. Because if you go and the hounds have already moved, obviously that's going to change plans a little bit. But either way, like, if, if, if that's something you can do, if you have a tanky enough pet that might survive, you know, one or two bites, then, yeah. then we could probably, you know, just basically we could, you know, just run at, at whatever speed. Because you're already... You know, you're already on the south side, so you could even if you beat us, it doesn't matter on initiative. Like you could still be able to drop it and run. Do I try to go earlier or later? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't like whichever one works better for you is okay because you're already on the other side of the hounds. For okay. us that are stuck on this side, it's either we have to kill them all or just punch a hole here and then run. And and that's the important part is it's if we if we try to kill them all, it's going to take a long time, and obviously we're going to eat up a lot of, of hit points trying to you know stay alive. Uh, but if we just punch the hole and run, like you're already on the other side, you can just drop the pet to distract them while we try to make our way out of the room. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Then I'm going to be going later on, and I'm going to be dropping my pet, and then that's basically a little bit of movement and heal myself a little bit. So. Okay. But I'll have my pet there, and he's got like 7 HP. It's the new Toad. 
whose name I cannot remember, honey. What did I call him? Uh, <laughs> it's been so damn long, I forgot the toad's name. Yeah, it's been remember. seven weeks or something since we played this. Um, I don't remember. Either way, I'll have to think about it. But either way, though, so I'll be dropping my toad. He's got like seven HP, so he can take a hit or two from the wolves while we cool. run. All right. Okay, and Sokka, you didn't need the darkness, right? Uh, no, I just need the wind, that's all. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, and starting the round. All right, uh, so seeing we're ignoring, I'm also at initiative 11, though, so I'll be first here, and then Becky will be right after. That's okay, I can use oh, my okay. boots. That was my other one, but there's no movement on my other one. On the 11? You have an 11 card? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> the toad, I think I remember right, honey, wasn't he... Uh, Weatherman from, from, from today's today show, Al Kroger. Yes, Al Kroger. that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> that's right. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the top of Overwatch then for an attack three, and I'm going to put the favorite on to make it an attack six with wound uh, and push. Um, actually, I'm not going to push him though because I need to land where he's. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's a move three. Yeah, so I need to land there, um, and I won't be using the wind, so I don't need the uh, additional part there, uh, as long as I don't miss. Um, you know, because the whole kind of team plan kind of relies on it, I'm going to go ahead and use my Eagle Eye Goggles to give myself advantage, because uh, I, I don't want to risk uh, pulling a, a miss on this, so I'll use the Eagle Eyes. And it'll be attack six with wound, with advantage, plus zero, or minus one. All right, uh, and that's actually the, uh, that's the remove minus one. That's the class. Oh, shit. Did I? Yeah, I did, because obviously the zero came first, so. I wasn't sure if I'd shuffled, but anyway. Um, all right, so plus zero makes it an attack of six, so he's dead. And my favorite now lands on there, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move there, so I'm just going to leave it to the side here. Um, that is a move three. If your favorite token is in or adjacent to your hex, you may perform loot one, uh, which I was already planning on that one anyways, and the other one's not dead, so there's no additional loot to be grabbed yet. I'll set that there, move myself there, and that is it for my turn. I'm gonna pull that out, and Becky, your turn. Alrighty. So you're going to use my potion. We'll put up darkness and some other random element, and then immediately consume them and kill this guy. Alright. Ooh! There we go. And then. Since darkness will be back up, I'm also going to move my three and invisible myself. One, two, three. So there we go. That's experience for that and for that one. And that is my turn. Alright. And the hounds are next, which uh, they are moving. So, you know what, actually, where we're at, we might luck out here. Uh, ben, you want to run them? It would be Hound 2 uh, first, right. this one that's by Sako. Oh, he's stunned, actually, so... Is he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, he takes his wound. I have to take my wound, and Ben, you get it. No, you didn't have your turn yet this turn. Uh, no, but I will. But yeah. But yeah. Um, so, did you already talk? No, I didn't. Not of him, just myself. So he takes his wound. Um, did he... he didn't get hit, so the poison doesn't matter. Um, now the stun will fall Three. off, but obviously he's not going to move, yeah. So, so we can click the stun off of him now. Yeah, and then three. Three up here. Yep. Uh, he has... Attack four at Sako. Oh, he's right oh, next to Sako. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's already next to Sako, so he won't move. All right, he's so he focused. is attack four on Sako with a... Curse. Damn it, plus zero. Okay, that's four damage, Sako. Okay. okay. And then... Uh, Hound six is yeah, the other elite. Six. Uh, okay. He will focus. Let's see. He's two from Sako, two from me. Uh, shit, he's gonna have to move south. Um, yep. You're gonna go on that coin, huh? Yep. So, which makes that blocks the path for Sako to get out. And that was what I was trying to avoid there, but uh, there isn't any other reasonable way for him to do it because that's that's the path he'd have to take. Any other path would be longer. He's going to be right there and is going to attack you with a. Well, hang on. You know what? The, we we can make an excuse here now. Because this well, is where you're at with this. Well, so, that's the thing is, right? all of us are. Well, sorry, except for Becky, the, the other three of us are all equidistant, and that's what yeah. ha that's the choice that happens first. They don't they don't 
make a choice based on the path. They just decide based on who's first, or uh, who's closest, rather. And if we're equidistant, we can choose, which means that we can say that he's going to go after you and go around to the south over here to get to you, or go over here to get to Sako, which would end up blocking Sako in anyways. He'd still have to go around. So if you can take the hit, I'd say have him go around to you instead. As long as that's fair game mechanics, works for me. Because that doesn't block us off, and then Sako can still escape without us having to kill all of them. And then I'll just drop my toad like right over here where you're. Where the yeah, that still works. Yeah, right. or even so, to the south of you, because you can walk through him anyway. So even if you drop him yeah, there, okay. I'll move south. All right, so he's going there, and uh, it was plus one that I drew. Okay, so, so that's at five. me. So that's a five. Okay. All right. And then there is only one regular guy left. Yep. Okay. Yep, I already killed him. So he can he hit me. So yeah. I'm gonna try to whack you with a. Is he also four? No, he's only three. Well, he's already. Three. Yeah, it's attack three. Yeah, plus whatever he draws. So he's attack three with a. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, also five. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's it for them, right? Yep. Is that one guy was stunned? Okay. All right. Sorry, your turn. Thanks, G. Okay. Grab my stuff real quick. There we go. Flip. All right, first things first, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna move three using the bottom portion of uh, Vile Pestilence. All right. One, two, three, jump on the coin. Then I will use the top portion of Airborne Toxin. This is kind of why I want to do it. Uh, with the wind, tick the wind, and it adds one range and one experience. So now I can do all four, I can do four curses and four muddles, yep, correct? Yep, yeah, I'll have all four of them, so I'll add your curses for you. Stack that deck. Muddle to all four. That's I think that's nine curses. Yeah, there's only one possible curse left. We've got nine freaking curses in the deck already in mm -hmm. like the second round. So <laughs> let me make sure that just want to make sure that we go into this next room uh, pretty, yeah. pretty good. Yeah, hopefully we can just run right past them because they'll just miss, miss, miss. All right, and they're all muddled yeah. as well now. So one they more muddle. So they will have a disadvantage trying to hit us anyways, which increases their odds of pulling the, the misses, obviously. Mm -hmm. The curses. Cool. Good job, Sako. Don't forget to add your experience, too. Yep, and then also remove the wind. There you go. Alright, Ben, your turn. Alrighty. You know what? Oh shit! The, 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 now it's not the time really, but there's a mod. I was so I was thinking about uh, if we could set up after we finish uh, Gloomhaven to play Baldur's Gate on the, you know on regular off weeks basically. Um, and initially the thought was, well, no, not really, because it's four. There's it's normally it's max set of four players, uh, meaning that we would you know on weeks when only one person, like if Justin's out of town or whatever, we still would need a game that could support five players. Uh, but there is a mod that I think I think mods work for everybody. I didn't have to look at it, but there's a mod to make it for uh, unlimited players if we wanted to, so we could play Baldur's Gate, you know, with five people. I think if we wanted to, it'd be really Sweet. fun, basically for for a full group for a campaign, anyways. All right. Uh, when you have wound and you heal, it just takes off the wound, no heal, right? Nope, you get the heal and the wound comes off. If you're poison. poisoned, yeah. it only gets rid so okay. I, I, I still miss that up, so I rely on you guys to remember, but yeah, I was, so, I was pretty yeah. sure that was the case, yeah. Thanks, guys. So I uh, dropped Kurt Toter, or not Kurt Toter, that was one of the other. Uh, Kurt Toter is a better <laughs> name than, than Al Croker. <laughs> Go for it. There was Kurt Toter. <laughs> Kurt Toter is a good just, one. I just don't know. I don't think Becky remembers that as much. You know who Kurt Loader was? Yeah, he was. Yeah, no, I don't think Yeah, yeah. Our, our generation, uh, he was MTV News, just like news anchor. A real, real, like, plain, boring dude. It's like, we was just, we didn't get, like, cable with MTV and shit until I was a teenager, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was, um, he, he was just, like, a surprisingly, like, bland, normal dude. guy during the. MTV, normal... he was old. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He was kind of, a, like, a little bit older and just, like, a regular news anchor, except on MTV News for whatever reason. Who's this? Kurt Loader? Yeah, Kurt Loader. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, like, 83 right now. Yeah. I mean, at the time, he was probably only, like, late 30s or early 40s or something, but he was on 
you know the generation of MTV where the like the the VJs are all were like you know 21 22 type of thing so it was just weird that he was you know a, a normal like just regular newscaster type of guy uh what your know, older white guy basically on MTV so you were here at first <laughs> yep <laughs> uh all right did you oh, wow. he is 78 holy smokes yeah wow yeah uh, okay, I had a job for a toter, and then I had a move of two and heal of two. All right. So, and that's it for me. Uh, don't forget your heal. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Ending the round. Okay, so we are all south and, and clear enough now, um, if we've got enough movement to, to be able to make it to the door there. Jeez, yeah. All right. Um, I need to get that off, but I don't think I have any like group heals oh I'm the only one okay everybody else has gotten their wound off it's just me still okay cool so I can just do my potion or something then alright uh, what's on the other side of the door once we knock it down essentially at this point we are just running now just yeah full sprint. if you look at the at the next room here um, there's a rock right on the other side of the door but we can basically run out there and then there's some rending drakes not the spitting kind but the rending kind um, although this actually, the spitting rakes right on the other side of the rocks, that sucks, because that they'll probably be able to hit us as soon as we open the door. Um, I don't think they fly, I don't think at least the rending drakes fly, so I could probably force one of the, uh, rending drakes into the traps and maybe kill it, but at least open a path through the traps. Um, the chest in the bottom right corner, I can, I can probably get to that if nobody else is able to, you know, jump fast enough to get over there. Um. But we basically, you know, if we can, jump over the rocks, get through the second door, and then just rush to the end. It doesn't matter if we die once we're on the on the exits, but we have to make it to the exits, and then we can die, and then it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm five away from the door. Uh, ben, are you going to open the door this turn? You're closest to it. I probably to can. Let me look at my stuff. Yeah, I think I still have a move three on there, so I can get to the door on the shot, and I'd be, I think, just add it because I have a move three. So yeah, one, two, pop it open. I guess if you want me to on this round, it might as well. Yeah, I mean, we as long as the drakes don't pile up on the other side and block it again, that would suck. Let's see. Uh, the the Marcus. two that are. We could get it closer to it and get everybody closer to it first, or whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, we got kind of a six of one, half dozen of the other type of thing. Because if we if we don't open it this round and just pile up around the door, then the wolves will surround us on the on the other side. If we open it, and slow them. Yeah, we could. Uh, we can immobilize, immobilize them, them for one okay. turn. Yeah. If you can do that early, that would help, and then we can all gather around the door, go late to knock the door down, and then get through. Uh, and that way, the drakes can't pile around the door and block us again. And then we third quarter kind of okay for opening the door? Or is that... I can do it early third quarter. For the immobilize? Uh, I could do it a lot earlier, but then my movement would suffer uh, drastically. Now, prioritize movement then. And yeah, Ben, if, if you open the door third quarter, and Sako, if you're able to move... Well, uh, let me see. Oh, wait, I have one more. I have one more. I can actually do it um, uh, late second quarter. I could do the second quarter. Okay. You would beat me then. I'd be third quarter. That's so, okay. So. That, that just, so the, the wolves aren't really an issue. Uh, well, if they're going to get immobilized, it doesn't really matter if they move before then because we're already kind of around them anyway. Um, they, they, as long as they don't focus you, Ben, then you moving to, south of the door is okay. Um, yeah, that, that'll yeah, still be my, right. my frog's there in the way anyway, so they can beat on him. So. Yeah, okay. I, I think that's probably uh, our, our best bet then. Um, Sako, how much movement will you be able to do? Will you be able to get, like, to the door this turn? Uh, I'll be able to get to four, so probably... Close to the door then, right? Uh, one, two, three, right around here. Okay. All right, I'm going to do... I'll get the wound off because I need to do that, but that means not moving. Shit. Um, wait, somebody's going here? Is anybody going here? Can they get away with not moving yet? Uh, yeah, that's. I think that's open so far, Becky. Sorry. 
Oh, I'm going to use my potion to get off. That's what I'll do. Mm. Yeah, I'll do that. In fact, I'll do that now. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I don't have a potion. I have a scroll of stamina. Uh, no, that's discarded guards. Fuck, I don't have any kind of healing potion. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm screwed. I, I can heal you if you need it. I have a scroll. For ranged? Like, a, uh, you know, heal someone else, not for yourself? Mm -hmm. uh, during your turn, perform a heal three, range five. Oh, shit. Uh, if you're able, that'd be good. I thought I had a potion, but I, I don't. I have power potion and stamina. Uh, and yeah. then the scroll I have is an ally within range five may recover up to two of their discarded cards. So if anybody needs, it is it's a loss. But I you know I can only do it once during the mission. But uh, you know, yeah, two I've got discards. Small, as long as you're within five from me, I can do a small heal. Okay. Well, then tell you what, you if you can do the the heal for me, then I'll give you two of your cards back. Uh, so whatever, you know, two of your discards, anything you need back, just let me know. Well, I don't need to know what the cards are, but let me know and I'll, I'll play that. I'll trade you there. When are you opening the door? Third quarter. Okay, then I'm going to go... I don't really want to use the bottom piece of that card shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. have to. I'm gonna go after you open the door. Okay. I'm gonna move here and then I can muddle and curse the guy that's on the other side of the door. It's a few spaces away. I'm gonna have to go super late. Okay. I can... Sako, the immobilize that you're doing, is that all of them? Because I can immobilize two of them. Um, depending on how, so it's it's a full um, seven hexagons. It's three on each side, one in the middle. Okay. If I cast where I'm standing, I could immobilize three of them. But I, will that immobilize me as well, since I'm standing on that one of those red squares? Uh, it's any creatures that are in there. I think. I can, let me see. Uh, which card is it? Myself. It's this one. Uh, yeah. You would ideally want to be on the outer edge of that. You would want to be somewhere outside of that, that group. If that's the case, then I can only immobilize one set of two then. Either Hound 6 and Hound 5, or Hound 3 and Hound 2. Okay, well, then I can I can take care of both uh, 5 and 6. Okay, I'll immobilize Hound 3 and Hound 2 and okay. run. Alright, that will work then. I've got my cards. I'll be going uh, end of first quarter. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't see you already had yours. Alright, starting the round. Uh, well, shit, the hounds are going first, and they are moving and attacking. That's going to change plans a little. Uh, Becky, you're up next for hounds. Oh, I was like, what? I got a really late card. <laughs> uh, right. So, they are move plus zero, attack plus zero. Oh, come on. Where are we to? So he wouldn't move at all. He just nope, he is wounded. Sanko. He is wounded, so apply oh. the wound first. Um, and he's muddled, so disadvantage. Yeah, exactly. So it'll be attack four, disadvantage to Sako. Yeah, there we go. No. That's what I was hoping for, was get some, some of these curses to come out. That's and why he... I splashed these damn curses. Yeah, there was nine of them in the deck now between you and Becky, so. Over one. Also right. disadvantage, so. Also. Oh, well, plus disadvantage. One. It's disadvantage. Oh. So, although it's shuffled, five it's just still. a plus one, which is still five damage, which still sucks, but... Alright, shuffle that back in. Okay, now this guy will move up here. And attack Toad, right? Uh, yeah, it's with disadvantage... Small. Yeah, you may as well. It just doesn't matter. Oh, shit! When he attacks, he stuns. Did you know that, G? No, oh. I didn't even pay attention to that. Yeah, anytime he attacks something... Oh, it's a something. null! <laughs> Right, another curse so. out. You're gonna kick that wolf's ass then. Or that hound's ass. I hate that they call those hounds because that's not a fucking hound. Look at those ears. Uh, it looks like a wolf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or, I mean, yes, it is, obviously. The picture is obviously supposed to be, but, but uh, you know, any of the more predatory uh, uh, species of dogs, hounds have floppy ears. They don't have pointy ears. Uh. There's one more in there, Becky. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it's the regular one. Yeah, the, the normal one there. Right. You can attack me. 
And another curse. curse. Another curse. All right. So. All right. Uh, Sokka, you're going to need a heal as well. Uh, I, I, I'm like, I need to get that off, but I can, you know, I can spend a card if I need you to do it, if you want to use the heal on yourself instead, because you're in, in tough shape now. It's your turn. Yeah. Let me go ahead first and uh, heal you. I'm going to tap my um, scroll, scroll of healing, so you get three health. All right. You sure you don't need it on yourself? It doesn't work on me. It's. Uh, oh, it's only. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. All right. That takes my wound off and got that. Uh, you. If you want to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and tap my uh, uh, discard scroll. That is, during your turn, an ally within range five may recover up to two of their discarded cards. So if you want to pick two of your your discards and put it back in, go ahead. Okay, I'll do it after the turn. Yeah, you here. can take these back um, or whatever. I will do the uh, grasping vermin and I think the best I can do is immobilize three and two right yeah because you wouldn't be able to get the one off the left side without also hitting yourself yeah so okay but it is an attack zero so you two. yeah immobilize them but also go ahead and roll the uh, the attack as you might end up pulling you know some damage from mm -hmm. so this will be for round two plus nice. two yeah. uh, three because it's poison two and three and this is going to be hound number three. Zero. So just poison. Wait, no, because he didn't take damage. Uh, No, it's still an attack of zero, so he still takes one. Okay, yeah. there you go. And then I will it use still the It still is movements. an attack, so he takes the one anyways. <clears throat> go ahead. I will now use the uh, movement, uh, the bottom portion of uh, fighting gnats, moving four. One, two, three, four. I as fast as possible. Okay. And I will pull two cards out of my discard. Yeah, um, you can choose those two now. that you just spent also. I actually should have gone before you. I just realized I had pulled initiative 24 or 25, so 25 was the lead card. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to do the... Well, shit, now that they've gathered around... Uh, yeah, I still can. Okay. So I'm going to do the bottom of close cuts, which is an attack two with immobilize, uh, and I will hit... Am I gonna... Uh, My toad can start that elite next to you, Jill. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, well, I... Well, the other guys are already immobilized, so I may as well. Does your okay. toad have to take damage to do this stun, or just be attacked? He attacks. It's when he attacks. Oh, when attacks. he attacks. Yeah. Oh, so, an attack of one, but he stuns, though. So. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If, even if it does zero damage, it'll still stun him. Um, all right, so I'm going to do the uh, the bottom of close cuts for an attack two with immobilize, uh, and I will hit. Uh, that's going to be range three, and I'm going to move two, so one, two, I'll go here as well, and so I'll be able to still be able to hit the other one. All right, so I'll be at, at a hound number six, attack two plus a zero, so two damage to him, and then the top of oh, and I move two actually. I will land there, and then the top of center. Oh, and immobilize him as well. There we go. And then the top of center mass for an attack three with immobilize at range three, and that'll be at this hound here, at hound five. So attack three plus two for five damage to him, which kills him, actually. So don't need to bother immobilizing because he's dead. And that is it for my turn. Uh, ben, that makes it your turn. No reason. Bird Toter first is going to try to attack Hound 6 over here. Fuck yeah. Nice. Damage. Way to go, Toad. Kurt Toter. Why does it name sound like it's a crass? Maybe it's <laughs> probably turd. It probably sounds like turd yeah. mm -hmm. that I'm thinking of. Okay, so I'm heading for that door still. Right? right. Yep. Yeah, if you're ready. Okay. No. We've got all I'm these guys. <laughs> Can you stand on... Oh, you're going to be in, well, you're in, in the, the door. door. Just... Yeah. yeah. Oops. I was like, I have to... 
be in that oh, one shit, so your I cards. can see the guy. Oh, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay, I got it. I got it. I rescued it just in time. Thank you. <laughs> your cards, your cards are going to be stuck under the board, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then my top card was just going to be a burner because there was not much else to do. So I'm going to be waiting through right here. All right. Let me go ahead and pull these guys. It is the rending drakes and spitting drakes. Let's see if we were late enough to avoid them. Fuck. Rending drakes are going to move. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah. And spitting drakes. Okay, we skipped them, so we, we at least don't have to worry about spitting drakes. Uh, rending drakes. Oh, they're not going to move. Oh. They are not moving, and they do not have range attacks, so they, they're not a threat. They basically aren't doing anything. Unless somebody, you know, if you go step in front of them, then that's kind of on you. They're just going to swing their arms like this, and if you get in the way, that's your fault. <laughs> right. Okay, so I really didn't want to use bottom of that one, but I kind of needed to. So I'm going to move three up here. There are no enemies to push. But I'm going to attack four at a range four with a muddle and curse on this guy. Cool. Add another curse back so, to the deck. He will be muddled. I got your curse for you. Thank you. And have the enemy one. Uh, plus one and invisibility. So nice. five. Come on. Where is this name? I'm not to find a right angle on this. There we go. And that is my turn. Alright. I will just stay invisible. Ending the round. Um. Alright, Sako, you have a... Are you able to move and heal yourself? Uh, I'm not going to be able to heal myself, but I will be able to move. I'm going to just run as fast as possible here. Anybody have any kind of ranged heals or anything they can hit Sokka with? I have zero heals. <laughs> My person is not a healer. Yeah. This is, this is the downside of no fox tonight. Oh, man. Run like hell! It'll just put me in the middle of the room with the uh, the drakes. Yeah, um, I mean we can try to, you know, make sure that they're not focused on you, but we may have to, uh, like you might have to lose cards to avoid taking damage. Uh, Vortex. How much? Is oh, the traps are stuns. That's good. But that actually means if we don't kill the drakes, then they're just going to be stuck there and stunned in, in the way. There's seven damage and stun. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, so we definitely don't want to hit those, but if we can, you know, force the drakes to take the damage, that's not bad. Sorry, I completely forgot what day it was. <laughs> All right, hey Fox. Hey, we are. Uh, we we started this mission already, so if you're like, we actually could use the support if you're ready to jump in. Yay, a healer. Yeah. <laughs> well, Fox. Yeah. Um, tabletop, right? Yeah, tabletop simulator. Yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> we we started this mission and we don't have any like heals, so like. No, so I'm so sorry. I feel like an idiot. No, that's no problem. Just hey, our anyways. Oh, G. Is it okay if we take a quick intermission while Fox is getting loaded? Sure. Can you update her? Yep. Get beer, I guess. <clears throat> so this mission, Fox, is the uh, it's the climbing the mountain one to uh, get it to go fight the dragon. Um, right. Okay. 
and it's the, it's the mission where all you have to do is just we, everybody has to make it to the end so it's just another you know run to the end mission except there's a ton of you know tough enemies and, and really hard hitting traps in the way um, they were still in the first room uh, we were kind of kind of killed our way through some wolves to get through that and then it just opened just you know literally just opened the door for the second room with a bunch of spitting drakes and everything um, but Sako is at three health I figure we'll, we'll just you know drop you in where we are at because I, I didn't want to play you, uh, you know, through, yeah, no. through the mission, so I'll just I'll drop you in where we're at, obviously, so you're not starting at the beginning. Yeah, it's loading up. Okay. Is 10 hit points right for what level you're at? Your Sue Singer is 7. Yeah, you should have 12 hit points. Your, your character only has 10 oh. on it, so let me fix that. How was your week, Fox? Uh, not too bad. Started the new stuff in Guild Wars 2. Oh, yeah? I've logged in, but I haven't actually done any of the new stuff. I just, you know, checked out the Wizard's Tower thing, and then did some of the, or Wizard's Vault thing, and then did some of the, the dailies for them, and that's it. Mm, Is yeah. anyone going to drop wind, or could they drop a wind? I can. Early? Yeah. Uh, before the uh, halfway point? Uh, or third quarter, sorry, before I third can quarter. Do it. Yeah, I can. I can do it in the first quarter. All right, I'm gonna go for some survivability. Aiming for this slot right here. Uh, let me look at where I'm gonna end up moving. I think just south of the door. Let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, I need to go here. It's my only option. Otherwise, I won't be able to move at all. All right. Take that spot. Okay. How is it, Fox? Um, not too bad. I'm kind of annoyed with a few things, but it's more like um, me thing than anything else. More what thing than anything else? Um... Me thing. Oh. Like, the you used to be able to just log in and get rewards, and now you have to log in and do stuff to get rewards. Uh, and I accidentally left it to all of it, like, world by world, PvP, and oh, everything. And yeah. some of the weeklies are, like, really stupid. Like, oh, do a tournament. It's like, I don't do PvP tournaments. Yeah. They're, like, really timed and stuff, and it's not... It doesn't go well. How quickly... So, like, that changes for the day one pretty quick, right? But is the weekly just once a, like a, you know, weekly? The weekly is, is uh, it, it resets every Monday, but I did find some I could do. I just need to do some like matches on Monk's account to finish off the weeklies on his, and then I have the one on mine done. Mm. But I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. The, um, the... Why is it not letting me choose? Oh, I'm still loading. Yeah, you're still at 77% to me. Um, the daily, like the, the, difference i guess in how the uh you know the, the daily login reward thingy is i i actually kind of prefer it because it's a little easier as far as all the alts using that and then the total is a decent chunk it's like 25 or 27 gold or something like that a month um which is you know just for for each alt account which is you know pretty you know that's it, it basically for it being easier and not having to you know go through the mats or sell mats or anything like that it's just raw gold that's kind of nice mm. but you know, the, the, the downside of it is is that I never sold those mats. I just piled them all up and then used it all to make a shit ton of legendaries for free. So Yeah, that's what I was doing, yeah. was just saving them up for that. Or I, would, or I would send them over to my main account. I don't know, it's just like now I have to log into alts. I have to click some stuff, and I'm not going to do more <laughs> than just get the login. So it's going to be so much slower, so much less materials. I don't well, know. yes, less materials, but more raw gold, which you can, you know, yeah. depending on the material price, is end up like... Well, a... the thing is, I don't have the obscure thing on the other oh, stuff. Oh, so okay. for Because I don't have the obscure, I can't even buy the heavy crafting material bag. Yeah, but you still get the. You can still buy the raw gold though. Yeah, I, the raw gold will definitely be what it's worth. Yeah. But I, I'm not doing. I, like I'm not moving them from the jumping puzzles they're on. Yeah, no, I, I leave them All in right. the, the, the uh, you know daily login chest thingy in the three one that's at the end of the storm thing in Boreal. Uh, whatever that you know the map I'm talking about that one. Yeah. How far is your group in uh, Baldur's Gate? 
Um, well, the one group we were playing with, um, it's hard to like schedule stuff, so that kind of uh, hasn't really gone too much. Oh. But the one for um, the other one is going a lot better. Um, Monk and I started our own, and um, yeah, we're we've done a lot more um, than we have with the other group. Nice. Just because like we're literally exploring everything. Yeah, I. That's what Monk and I do. Yeah. Like, the other person just wanted to go, 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 like get at, through the story as fast as possible, and just like make the choices of good or evil right away without doing much of the quests we had open, uh -huh. and it locked all of them out. Oh, yeah. That's that's not the way that I play. That would definitely get on my nerves. Yeah. So. I, I, um... So when I told you the other day that I had finished uh, all of Act One, I hadn't. I didn't realize that the Underdark was was considered part of Act One still. So I went through and finished uh... all of that. I did 100% everything in all of Act 1, which is all of the first map, all of the Underdark, and all of the Mountain Pass. That's all Act 1. Uh, mm. And now I'm like, you know, maybe a couple hours into the beginning of Act 2. And I'm still like, I'm still fucking 60 something hours into the. Uh, yeah, the like Monk and I are exploring everything. I'm loaded in. I just need to choose some cards. Yeah, uh, so where we're at right now, if you can, if you have any way to do so, we don't have any heals amongst us, and uh, Sako is at three hit points. Uh, so if you have something you can use to heal him, that would be yeah, really beneficial. Um... I dropped you in the map, you know, where we're at. Uh, we're just trying to go south. We have to get south through that door over there. Uh, I'm going to be landing here. I have to. That's the only spot I can get to. Uh, once I land there, guys, I'm going to be moving this drake into the traps. Uh, and through two of them, which will kill him. He'll die. So both of those traps will be gone. These two traps here, well, he'll, uh, he'll be able to step through those and kill himself. Um, and then I'm going to try to get to that chest in the southeast, but I won't be able to get that far. I'll be right here. Okay. Um, all right. Any so... Anybody going to be here? Not me. The one next to the Drake? This one here? I'll yeah. Be right here. Okay. Yeah, so Sako's going there. I'll be here. Becky, you're going to be there. Uh, yeah, ben, where I can you do it. Tiny hit on this guy, but that's about all I'm good for this room. Okay. There's oh, I right can. Here. What'd you? Oh, There's actually, right here. Let me see if I can finish him off. Where's here, Ben? Oh, Green hand. all the way over there. Shit. Well, if you're closer, I, I might be able to get the chest. What I'm gonna do is uh, do a move of. I have a move of five because I'm gonna use my potion to get my movement back, and I'm going to use. So I'll go after you, G. But I'm gonna use the curious gear to disarm. All traps within range too, so it'll get rid of the two remaining traps, including the one in front of the chest. Yeah, as long as you go after. So I'll go after yeah. you, so okay. it doesn't waste it for your. Drake. Okay. How far can you hit Drake number six? I might be able to help. Okay, so whose turn is it? Me. I'm gonna be like right here, and it's gonna be a super tiny hit. What do you? I could be right here, and I was going to muddle both of these, but if he's gonna move Drake five to the traps, I'll just muddle six, but instead of muddling six, I can cause a little bit of damage if you're gonna, you know, hit him for like two or something like that. Maybe I can help. I mean if I draw good enough, absolutely. <laughs> okay, I think we'll try that instead. Like, it's a tiny hit, but Fox, um I don't, know, I don't know if that was uh oh don't forget your battle goal too, Fox. Um I don't know if that was just for you know, not playing Gloomhaven for a while, but we're all, you know, this is still picking card phase, but it's not a turn. It's not whose turn is it? That makes sense? Okay. Uh, Jeremy, I don't need yeah, the, uh, the wind you anymore. You don't need wind? Okay. Hmm. Uh, I think it's still going to, yeah, it's going to go up anyway, so if anybody needs it, they can have it. So my only heal is also my song to give you healing at the beginning of every turn, so... Oh, shit. Okay. We don't have any heals in this group? Fuck. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we've, we've done okay so far, but playing this one on hard may, may have been a, a risky choice. We, we should be fine. I'll put up this song to give the healing, and it should be fine. Okay. Um, we got to make sure yeah, the Sarko then... doesn't get hit, is all, because we, yeah, like, if he okay. exhausts... So, Just let you know. Let's I'll be here. I'll tap Drake six. Uh, I'm gonna ignore Drake five because you're gonna do the trap thing. Yeah, for he'll him. he'll die from the traps. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, then Sako, just make sure that you you know we, we got to make sure that you're not the focus of enemies because uh, uh, Drake two you, might be a problem. Uh, we don't know. Right here. Yeah. We'll see. We'll we'll see what happens. I mean, if if, if you have to lose cards for Burn. as long as yeah, I mean, if if we have to, ideally don't want to go that route because you need you know enough cards to make it to the end uh this mission by the way uh fox the um uh 
uh, goal, the thing that we have to do, is just mm -hmm. everybody has to survive and then make it to the exit. You can die when you're at the exit, but we have to mm -hmm. survive long enough to get there. Everybody has to be standing on an exit. Oh, okay. So I if see. anybody exhausts before, then we, you know, we don't win. So. Okay. All right, uh, Ben, you still picking? Yeah, sorry. I was using my standard motion mutant. So, oh, it's back. No problem. Okay. I'll be using that. I still have that. I can. Ooh. Uh. No, that's only in range stacks, huh? Yeah. Rupture. What's rupture do? They they take damage when they move. Yeah, that could kill off one of them. Let me know when you're ready, G. How far do we have to go to, um, yeah, how far do we have to go? Uh, if the, the map is off to the left there, so we are just at the start of the second room. We have to make it all the way across the second room and then down a kind of a short hallway in the third room there. Okay. Um, this one instead. Helps me pick my battle goal, although I don't think I'll be able to finish either. Oh, shit, I needed that one for, never mind. All right, I'll put that back. I just won't get that. Neither one of them are very good, Fox. No. Like, unless you guys leave stuff, like, really low for me. Uh, I mean, we might be able to. Like, right now, um, depending on what happens with six here, like, we could get him, depending, because basically, Sako, I think, is going to hit him. You said Sako? Yeah, I'm going to tap him a little bit. And okay. so am I, but mine's super small. <laughs> well, I mean, he might end up in a position where he's only got, you know, one or two hit points, Fox. Okay, that that's gonna be nice. Yeah. Uh, ben, if you're gonna be landing there, you can probably make it to the chest and then maybe doom and teleport one of the other guys. What do you think? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Right. I mean, depending on where this guy ends up next round, I could probably just kill him off. Okay. And then you could probably really. doom, and then doom to... teleport. Yeah. Okay. All right. Start depending on where he ends up after this. <laughs> okay. uh, Becky, you are first. I'm at initiative yes. 22, so I'm after the hounds. Which they're all immobilized now anyway, so we can... Well, shit, depending on what they're going to do. Awesome. Yeah, so we can ignore the hounds this round. I'm going to move three. One, two, three. Attack this guy for one. <laughs> Plus one, so two. All right. And then I'm going to shield myself since I'm just going to be standing in front of him. And I'm no longer invisible. And put darkness back up, is that what that is? Yes. Which, if nobody needs the air you're going to put up next round or the darkness, then... Use it for an assassin. both of those. Cool. That's right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, uh, Fox, your turn. We'll All right. Darkness. Um, I'm going to put my all allies move four and my heal one at the beginning of the turns up. Just got to remember to actually use it because we definitely need it this time. <laughs> this, this passive song heal. With the movement one, two, you said, Fox? Mm hmm. Heal one, Was it the movement one? song, two? It's heal one at the beginning of every turn. Okay. Oh, it's this one. I was looking at the wrong card. Okay, and then I'm going to use the bottom of this one, so I'm going to attack for one range three, so targeting this. The three hex arrangement. Plus two wound. <clears throat> He's about to take that wound also. And um, that's it for my turn. All right, hounds up. Uh, and Fox, actually, you're next in the list if you want to run them. Actually, they're not going to do anything, so they would be moving, but they're all immobilized, and one is stunned anyway, so they'll just, two of them will take the wounds from their... Oh, that's going to kill the elite in the back. Defeated. This one's not going to do anything. 
I don't know what dangerous music. Take a wound, and it's going to attack the giant toad. Oh shit! He's no, stunned. he's stunned. Sorry, he's stunned. Yeah. Oh, stunned. Okay, yeah. never mind. But so his stun is going to fall takes... off now. So. Oh, okay. So yeah. just remove the stun, and that's it. Okay. Yep. All right, and Sokka, that brings us to you. Okay, here we go. Pull the cards, move it up. There you go. Flip, flip. Uh, as right. far as the music, it could be. It's, it's music that comes with Tabletop Simulator, Sako, so I'm, it might be like, you know, royalty free stuff or something. I don't know. So I'm going to heal one, right? Yeah, sorry. One yes. at the start of the song, yeah. Beautiful. Going to move four. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to. Oh shit! Uh, I was supposed to be before you, but go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I don't, well, I don't think it's going to matter as long as as long as you're not uh, moving that drake. It's not going to matter. No, I'm just going to work with this guy. Okay. And then I will attack four with a curse to the drake. So add one more curse. Oh, uh, Fox, did you add your curse already? For that one you did. Um. I don't see it in there. Uh, did I add what, sir? Didn't, didn't one of your cards, the cards that you displayed, add a curse? Oh, yeah, I forgot to add it. Yeah. So, there's actually... Okay, I added it. Okay, and there's one for Sokka, too. Sokka... Alright, here's the fight as well, Sokka. Alright, draw a modifier. You bastard. We are Negative down one. to... So, that means that it damages him for three, so he dies. Okay. One, two, three. Defeated. Defeated. Boy, there you go. All right, and that's going to be it for my turn. All right, that brings us to my turn, which is good because the running drakes would be moving next. But my initiative was was twenty two, uh, so it would have been right before yours, Hoko. But uh, I forgot, so I'm going to do the bottom of. Hang on, do I have? No, I don't have one in range. All right, I'm using the bottom of power pitch for a move three. I'm going to use my boots to make it move four, which puts up wind as well. One, two, three, four, which gets me here, uh, and wind goes up. Uh, there we go. Uh, the top of Brutalize, I don't actually need. It's I'm just a wasted card. It is needed for initiative, but I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, Fateful Compass. During your turn, force one enemy within range three to perform a move two action with you controlling the action. So I will be moving the Rending Drake, the Elite, here with 14 hit points uh, to jump into these two traps here, which are each 7 damage, which will kill him. Disable the traps here. And then he dies there. Oops. And that is it for my turn. So now it is Rending Drakes, which, uh, Sako, it's your turn. Oh, well, they're not within range to hit anybody, so they're not doing anything. Oh, there's only one left, and he's not doing anything. He doesn't have ranged attacks, so he's, he's not within range to hit anybody, so we can skip him. Which, Ben, brings us to you. Alrighty. Uh, when I summon a pet, it's the very first thing that happens in my thing is before I move and all that, right? If I summon a new pet. Well, first, first you have to move your other pets, so you have to do their okay. actions. So in this case, it's uh, uh, Kurt Toder. Kurt Toder is going to keep trying to... Uh, however, Frog Pride's not really sure how that would happen. And number, pound number six over there. Okay. Keep him stunned, though, at least. Which will stun right. him again, anyway, so... He's Actually, he's dead. dead. Oh, okay. One plus one. Later, loser. We weren't even trying to kill those elves and end up killing them all. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, there's still an elite in the back. Alright, I'm just gonna rip it his way over here. Very just slowly. Move one. Yeah. yeah, not like it's ever gonna matter, but just in case. And yeah. then I would, if I do summon a pet, it would be now, right? Because I have Gregory back on the way. Well, or do so I move first? You can play them whichever order you want. So you could do the bottom, you can okay. do the swift trickery, move first, and then summon if you want to. It's up to you. That's what I'm gonna do then. Yeah, only so the pet actions used. have to happen. Meaning, if you already have Before a summon, that has to happen. Yeah. The, the, you don't forget summon, to give your summon a health if it has. Oh. Uh, if it's missing health from the song. And I, yeah, I forgot for yeah. myself too, so I decided to take myself too. Thanks, Fox. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Five. At the bottom of Swift and Trickery, so I'm going to go here next to those other traps. 
right here. Get the heal up. Yeah, you get your heal too, G. Oh, cool. From back from Fox's song. Thanks, Fox. And then I'm going to uh, use my curious gear to disarm all traps within range too. So that's going to get rid of these other two traps here. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to summon Gregory back. All right. But I'm just going to put him right next to me where that trap opened up. So. And then I'll get the unless anybody else wants, I can get the chest on my next turn. But I don't care either way; it don't matter to me. Movement is like is is priority, and you're going to be the closest. I don't think anybody else is going to be able to get past you, so you may as well grab it and then sure, you know, and then teleport over with a with a kill if Becky can assassinate one of them. That's what we will do then. So right. that's it for me. All right, Dan Sako, that makes spitting drakes for you. Um, oh shit! <laughs> well, that sucks. Uh. Move minus one, and then attack minus two. So their attack is already fucking six on the on the elite G's. So even with the minus two, is still an attack of four at a huge radius. Hang on, let me look at that card because there might be like a condition requirement or something for that. That is move minus one, attack minus two at range minus two, and poison for that whole area there. So at a hex that large, uh, they would both be focused on Ben and Gregory Peck. All of them would be, actually, because he's the closest. Um, so it'll be the elite first. Sako, it'll be the, the yellow. Um, he, Hang on. I don't think he's going to need to move, actually, because it's a range 5. He's in so range he, now. Yeah, yeah. He, he's already in range. One, two, three. Uh, actually, That's hang gonna... on. No, it won't. Um, uh yeah, it will. He'd have to yeah. move here. No, well, because right? this would be the bottom right to... corner. This would be the bottom Three. right corner of the hex, which will still hit Ben. So he doesn't need to move. Uh, he'd be able to hit Ben and the and the Warhawk from where he is. Please. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be an attack of four with poison, uh, starting with the with the Hawk and Ben. It won't hit anybody else, just those two. All right. Going for the Warhawk. Draw a modifier now. No. Hey, all right. Looked out there. <laughs> And going for Ben. Zero. All right, so, so it'll be four damage with poison. Yeah, four damage and poison to Ben. Uh, let me shuffle. There we go. Uh, all right, and then it'll be. Yeah, that one. Four. That one right there. Yep. All right. Uh, attack is. He's well, it's within range. range two. So, well, his range is only two now. It's because it's one, a two. range of minus two. So he's yeah. going to have to move one hex closer. He's going to move. Yeah, there you go. And then it'll still hit Ben and, and the Hawk. All right, Hawk now. Gregory Peck. No. Right, another curse. Ben. Oh, jeez. Uh, both of the curses were... <laughs> Damn it. That stupid Gregory Peck that didn't need it. Uh, so hang on, it's it's damage minus two, so that makes it two damage uh, plus one from the poison makes it three total. To oh. Ben, three damage to Ben, and spitting Drake uh, movement. So this movement's only going to be two, so he'll just move one, two. Oops, that should be right, right? Yeah, they can go through each other. Yeah, and once again they're in range for the Warhawk and Ben. So Sorry, attack man. two, attack two with the hawk. Modifier, plus one, oh, which yeah. is enough to kill Gregory Peck right after he was yeah. summoned. Like your muted G. I hear you're crying about uh, Gregory Peck there. Yeah. <laughs> I was. That was what I think. And then okay. now one for Ben. Sorry, Ben. Curse, curse, damn it. Zero. <laughs> so two damage. So Ben, you're still you're still uh, alive uh, without without having to lose a card or anything. Oh, All right, ending the round. Now we're blocked. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, Becky's gonna assassinate one of them. Ben, I can to... get here and assassinate him if no one needs the darkness and air that are up right now. Yeah, those are fine. Ben needs to be able to get the doom up first, though. Yes. Oh shit! Actually, um... well. Ben needs to get the Doom up and move to the chest, which I guess would happen on his turn. So as long as you can arrange that where Ben goes before you do, then that should be okay. okay. All right. Um... This is looking rough, guys, with both Ben and Sako and low hit points. And we still have to run through that last room where, uh, you know, there's still some rending drakes in the last room, too. Oh, rending oh. and spitting. Oh, God. What's the earliest you can go? 
you. Fox is way back there too. She and she doesn't have much movement. So I don't even have my. Uh... Oh wait a minute! Here, there it is, right. Actually, I think I've already used my teleport doom anyway, but I wouldn't be able to do them both on the same turn because dooms are bottom actions and movement is bottom action to get to the chest. I'd have to be two separate, two separate turns anyway. Oh. Okay. Well. well I mean, if you, if if you're getting well, shit, no, because the assassination would need to happen soon to get rid of these guys because they hit really hard. The uh, your spike I mean, traps are dead, right? I still yeah, have all a few movement cards left, so I can move a little bit at least. Okay. Well, if you're so, out of the way, at least then you probably don't have to worry about getting hit. Which yeah, because you don't have any hit points left. But I mean, these guys can oh. eat through hit points really fast. I mean, I can as assassinate this guy and then just assassinate one of these guys later. Okay. Are like you gonna jump over strap. the rocks, Becky? Is that what your plan is? Yeah, I'm gonna jump over and land right here. Okay. No. How about you, Fox? Do you got a plan to be able to move, or I don't know. You don't have a lot of movement cards. No, I don't. Um. In that oh, case, I'm going to go early. Hmm. Where are you landing, Becky? Oh, shit. I think we screwed up a little bit there, Jeremy. What? Are they muddled? No. that's Their attacks muddle, which means Ben's oh, attacks actually Ben's muddled. muddled now. Yeah, their attacks muddle, so Ben is muddled as well. I'm going to be right here. Just okay, on the I'm other fine. side of this rock. Okay. Uh, what was that, Fox? Uh, I've got a plan. I'm good. Right. Um, I'll I'll be here, and I'm gonna try to. So, uh, Becky, you're gonna assassinate this one, but these two won't be touched yet, right? Yes. All right. So we're gonna we're probably gonna need to kill them. We we might need to like actually kill our way through. Originally, the plan was just to run, but we're, it's not gonna. It's not going to survive that way. We're going to have to rely on the healing, which means we need extra rounds and without taking damage um, because of the uh, healing song from Fox. So we might have to actually kill these guys and this guy, technically, because they actually hit really hard if they can get close. Shit, should I kill him and then run? Because that wolf up here we don't shot. worry about. Like the, the wolf won't be able to get past the toad. The toad will kill him. So we can it's kind a of long shot. Uh, will we have any wind up? If not, that's fine. Becky needs it this turn. Um, okay. okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's I was fine. gonna. I can do without. Kill this guy, but I need two elements to do it. Sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'm gonna get some cards back real quick for my potion, and then uh, I can probably put the wind back up. Oh no, it's okay. I don't need it. I have a helmet. I'll use the helmet. Uh, let's see. Can I do? Maybe I should just get rid of that rending drake on the left, so they don't have to deal with him. But we need these guys to die really fast too, because that AOE really screwed us. That's not, you know, a card that they like. That's their their big special, so it's not super likely it'll happen again. But it, it definitely could. But I want to get rid of that running Drake before he can sneak up on us. So I will. I'm gonna run to this location right here. Spike trap. Probably go Overwatch and just not move this turn. Quick turnaround is always good. Alright. Not used to the layout and tabletop simulator anymore. It's been a while. I'll be going pretty early. Um, we'll not be putting wind up, but I won't be doing it again. That is, it's still up. But I'll be throwing at the Rendy Drake on the left there. Oh shit, sorry guys, I didn't see you were already ready there. All right, starting the round. Uh, I am at an 11 actually, so I'm first. I'm gonna go ahead and throw, oh fuck, if I throw the favorite, I'm gonna have to go over there. I guess I could do it and jump over the rocks. That's That'd still be all right, I guess. 
All right. Uh, I'll do attack four, and I'll throw the favorite with it for making an attack of seven. Um, with a push of two, I don't need that. So uh, at the rending drake over here, rending drake two. So attack seven, plus two, and muddle. So attack of nine, which sucks because he has ten hit points, so I'll have one hit point left. Uh, but I'm wounding him, actually, uh, because it is my favorite, which has a wound on it. So he's muddled and wounded now, so he will die at the start of his next turn. So we can actually ignore him. And muddle. There we go. I guess I don't really need to worry about the muddle since he's going to die anyways. All right. So the Rending Drake is out of the picture, and I'm putting up Overwatch. So the next five times, an enemy ends a move within range five, perform attack two, targeting that enemy. And that is it for my turn. Becky, it is your turn. All right, we are going to you. use my boots. Oh, thanks, Fox. Our soccer. Yeah. One, two, three, four with the jump, and then we're going to consume these and assassinate an elite. So he dead. Yeah, there's no assassinate button, so you have to click 18 times. <laughs> yep. And that is my... Oh, and they get another curse. Nice. And that's magic. Alright, so we, there are currently eight curses in the monster deck. Oh, I shit, I didn't mean to do that. I, I was thinking shuffle what's left there to make sure that they shuffled after the curse is added, but I shuffled in that minus one or, whatever, or that uh, plus zero, rather, whatever that was. Alright. Uh, uh, Fox, your turn. Alrighty. Um, let's see. The shield is gone. I get one XP for the song. I'm gonna put up a thing to where I could have two songs. Cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna move two. Or actually, putting up the song, I get to move from my loot. Let me check to see how much. I get to move two from my loot. So you can get to the other side of me at least then. Two, and then I get to move another two from my thing, and then you guys both get strengthened. Hell yeah, thanks. And that's it. Alright. That brings us to the hounds, which would be me. Uh, move plus zero, attack plus zero, or uh, yeah, attack plus zero, so it is a move of four. You can get to uh, Kurt Toter. For an attack of oh he is he's still poisoned but the mobilizing uh, well, whatever uh, model would have fallen off uh, but an attack of four at Kurt Toter plus two is six shit Kurt Toter has one hit point left G <laughs> what was that wait a minute he should actually be stunned because Kurt Toter hit him on the last round too. I just didn't put the start on. No, he was up here. No, that yeah, was an elite that was the back. Other one. Yeah, that was the Oh, other he was one. up there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Damn it. There was another one over here that he killed, but or that uh Fox killed somebody killed. Um but yeah, that one that one, one just moved in, so But as long as Kurt Toder hits him this time, he's not gonna survive long enough for it to be a problem. That brings us to spitting drakes though, uh which Ben that is you. Drakes. Just those two normals that are remaining there, so they are uh, they're not moving. Oh, let's get an achievement for Play Tabletop Simulator for over 200 hours. Nice. Nice. Um, anyways, they are both going to... Uh, they're not moving, but they do have ranged attacks that is still range 4, which will be Becky, actually. Oops. Yep. So they are attacking Becky with poison. Number 4 is going Oh, hang on, to hang on. Uh, no, it's worse than that, G. One, two, three. Uh, it's target two. Oh shoot! Yeah, so they're God oh, damn it. Oh shit! Uh, they are targeting two, Ben, which means they're going to hit you as well. All right. They then won't. They won't move, but you'll have to lose uh, cards. No. For it. Unless they're cursed. Yeah, they could be curses. That's possible. Yeah. Uh, he is going to start with me. With a. Let's see. So, all right. Best to lose a card. Yep. I'll have my uh, discard card give back thingy here again because I'm not, I need to use my uh, earring thingy. Um, 
I already used it for Sako once, but I'll I'll be able to use it for you to be able to you know you won't be able to get your lost cards back, but you can get some discard cards back. I think it's okay. two. I've got now getting Becky. <laughs> There's the curse, of course. Oh, All right, she's still in full hit points. Uh huh. <laughs> Number five is gonna go for me with a. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's no, it's a tag plus zero. Yeah, so it'd still be two damage. You stopped to lose card. Your doom... Oh, shit, you, you don't have to be able to see them for your doom thing, G, so... Wait till you go get the check. Well, go ahead, go ahead and finish this, and then I'll explain. Uh, and then, now, number five, attacking Becky with a minus one. Three? Three. Yep, okay. three, and then poison as well. Oh, yeah. That is it for them, right? Because there's only two spitting tricks? Yep, that's it. Uh, Sokka, that's your turn. Uh, ben, what I was saying there is, wait till we open the last door, have your Doom ready, Doom one of the guys that's standing right next to the exit, and then we kill that and you teleport over. Okay. As long as you're, like, hiding in the corner there and you're not the closest enemy to them, as long as your pets and stuff are. Uh, we've already killed the others anyways. I don't think it would be a threat for you anymore to just, you know, wait by the chest and then just teleport to the end. And that way you don't have to worry about losing cards and running out. Okay. Then that's what I'll do. Okay, I'm moving here. I'm going to tap my helmet to add one more range to my attack. Cool. So now I can reach the two drakes, or the two uh, uh, spitting drakes. And I will cast again that curse and muddle to both of them. All right. So they will both be muddled. I'll add the muddle now, and if you want to add the curses, you can add the oh, curse. Oh, you didn't need to use... Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, she used the wind. Never mind. Yeah, use my helmet. That's why. Okay. My backup plan. Cool. So they are both muddled now, and uh, add two more curses. Add, add two more curses if you could. All right, those are back in. There are nine. Definitely use them. Yeah, there are nine curses in the deck now. Cool. All Just right. Just trying to up our survivability chance yeah. here. Yeah, that'll definitely help. Because. <laughs> oh, uh, Ben, you just no, you have your turn now. Uh, Sokka, did you heal yourself from the? From the song. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, ben, your turn. <laughs> so heal yourself from the song too, which will get rid of your poison. Oh, awesome! That'll help then. Thank you. Box. Your model should be gone too, right? It's been two turns. Uh, he just actually no. I think there's first turn. Model. Yeah, it'll be after this turn. Yeah. Mm. I'm not hitting anything anyway, so it's not going to be a big deal. It's going to be moving that way. Uh, I'm actually going to use my jump boots to make it a move of three. I'm using the bottom of a moment's piece to go from two to three movement and then a two heal so I can get to a chest. Cool. Uh, set yourself to the side first and then click the number on the top of the chest. There you go. And then this is your card over here, G. And your model will fall off as well. I don't know. Do I click on it? It might. You might have to change the state. Okay. <sighs> it might take a second. Like what I put it on stage? You? Uh, flip it. Da -da. Okay. What does it say? Greg scale hell. Uh, Item number one. One zero oh, eight. Cool. All right. Uh, let me. I'll pull that out for you. Uh. It's, uh, no, okay, now the <coughs> pardon me, the rending drake would go. There's only one left. Uh, he's not going to be able to move, but he is wounded, so he takes his last hit point and then dies. And my favorite will fall on the ground. Come on. Why is that not working? I'm clicking the minus and nothing's happening. Click that. Oh, there we go. It finally worked. Just lagged, I guess. All right. And my favorite will drop on his hex there. Is that flipped? Why does that look funny? Yeah, it's flipped. There we go. All right, uh, that's it for the round. Uh, let me find Ben's helmet. 
and we can pick new cards. It is 108. We're going to focus on Drake 4 or focus on Drake 5 to get through this. Probably both. I, like, just because they hit so hard, I think we're going to have to you know, get rid of them and then once we're into the next room, try to run for it. Because we only need to get like through that, but I don't want them... Well, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on what the plan is, if we can throw out enough damage to get rid of them while we try gotcha. to heal up a little bit. I mean, if I go super late, I can open the door and stun one of the... Is that one elite or two elites on the other side of the door? Uh, ben, I dropped your helmet down there. And uh, there's two. There's one spitting. No, there's three. Uh, there's two rending drakes that are elites and one spitting drake that's elite and then two normal uh, spitting Okay, drake. and I can stun and wound one of the two that's up front if I go later and open the door. That's a Ben, did you see the helmet that I just dropped on there? That's what you just looted. Oops. And then uh, the next round I, I could... Two assassinate them. You technically have them both this turn, G. Okay. Um, probably, well, I guess it kind of depends which which one's in the way there, Becky. Um, they're probably all going to be in the way because they'll probably crowd around, although the Redney Drake so far have just pulled non-movement cards. So. Well, I just meant so then Ben could teleport into Oh, the I gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this round I could stun one so we can't move he'll be stuck where he is, and then assassinate him the next round. That should work. That's that's a, a good plan, I think. So Ben can get in. Fox, are you going to be able to move enough to be able to, to catch up? Uh, I could move a bit, yeah. Okay. That helmet is, like, well, you're not going to probably get muddled much now anyway, G, since you're, you know, staying hanging back there for now, but since these guys muddle, that's, that would be perfectly, you know, handy yeah. for this mission. If we if we see more drakes, I'm gonna have to remember to bring them with me. Yeah. For that mission. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go over and get my favorite or not. Cause if I well shit I, I could use it for these guys, but I won't be able to throw that far. I might have to just leave my favorite behind for this mission. Cause we need to get some damage into these spitting drakes now. Discards for. Oh, I can use my slug. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. Uh, should I spend the losses? I probably should. All right, I'm gonna short rest, and then I think I can I can do a, a, a big chunk of damage to both of them. Probably not enough to kill them, but enough to get them weakened at least. Uh. With these two, yeah. Oh shit, I might be able to kill him actually. Maybe. Which one do I want? Oh, it's random. Uh, that was like a potion. Flip. No, nope. flip. Well, that sucks to lose that card, but better that than. Okay, um, oh, sh uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I might be able to kill them both, but at least do a significant amount of damage to both of them. Uh, it's going to cost me two lost cards, but I, I think I can still make it and, and rush towards the end. So. All right, uh, no, not third place. Oh, that's actually... Shit, that would be a good one too, but it's also a loss. And I need the initiative, so it'll be power pitch. And fearsome. Yeah, we'll do these two. Okay, uh, it won't be until third quarter though. Uh, so try not to, you know, be too close to them or anything, I guess, because if they get to go before that, they presumably will. Uh, they'll hit pretty hard still, so. <clears throat> Alright, got my cards ready. Ben, you still picking? Yeah, although... Uh, 
since I think I'm just, I'm hanging tight this round anyway, I'll probably just do a long rest if that's cool with everybody. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Get that work back, yeah. All right. Okay. But when I do pop into the last room, I'll have a couple of hits I can use that are decent sides because they're lost cards, but it'll be the last room, so. Okay. So I think I'll just long rest this round if that's cool. All right. Uh, isn't there a button you have to click for a long rest? Isn't there? Yeah. It's on the thing. Yeah, it's on the, on the yeah, player thing. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, starting around. All right. Uh, Fox, you're first. All right. Um... So I'm putting up a retail song. So oh, yeah. anytime anything attacks, it's uh, you guys get retaliation up to range two. All right. Here. Okay. And that's it. All right. That retail will definitely help since we're surrounded by these jerks anyways in the last room here. Yeah, I figured that'd be the best way of doing it, right? Yeah, get some free damage back with you know, by by getting taken or taking damage ourselves. Your turn, Sako. Okay, here we go. It's getting kind of sketchy now. Alright, so move two and shield self if I tap the card, right? So if I say move two, boom, boom, shield myself, tap the card, uh, apply shield, and then I will attack. Um, both targets. It's a, it's a weak attack. It's only one, but it causes poison and adds curse to both of them again. So we're going to add some more curses. Nice. That's probably all uh, of them, Also, uh, Also, we are adding darkness as well. Cool. So in case anyone needs darkness, enjoy. Um, so let me go ahead and attack Drake number four first. Modifier. Plus one. So that's two damage. And then also add poison. This one is Drake 5, modifier, plus 1, that's 2 damage, and add poison again. And then, you got the two curses in there? There's only one left, it's actually, like, well, there's zero left now, I added the one for the, there, there's a maximum of 10 curses in the enemy deck, um, so that we're maxed out basically now, so there's, there's 10 in there now, out that's of the good. 20, 26 cards, so it's, uh, like 46 or something percent chance of pulling a curse. There you Not go. me, though. I pulled no curses today when I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, really. I won. <laughs> yeah, for all of those attacks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, your, your, your three hit point pets just keep getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, spitting drakes it's then. Early. And then, all right. And then uh, I'm after the spitting drakes. So they are going to get to attack first, uh, which is Becky. Ben did him last time. They have ranged attacks, so they're not going to bother moving. They'll just be an attack minus one uh, against one against you and one against Sako. Should be ready in a second. Okay. Oh, I get Sorry, it. I'm just eating. No, you're fine. I got it. <laughs> All right. So they're muddled, so disadvantage? Yep. Sweet. One against you. Uh, well, Eight. null on that one. Who is that against? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Stop, uh, stop. That wasn't even a curse. That was a regular null, which means it's a shuffle. Oh, um, okay. But there's, that means the 10 curses are still in there, so... Was that against you or against Sako? Sako. Okay. All right, so the one against you. Attack hmm. of 3 plus, plus 1, one. so uh, 4 uh, damage to you. 5, actually. Uh, uh, 4, right? Because it was a minus 1. No, it's 2 plus 1. Or no. So it's, so it's, it's 4, and then the, the card is minus 1, then the modifier was plus 1, so it's back to 4, three. and then add the poison on top is 5. Ooh. Okay. That's what you get for not keeping yourself invisible, I guess. <laughs> yep. Um, Next round. Yep. I'm going to use that darkness. So. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Actually, this round. <laughs> oh, I'll be putting up wind also, actually, if you need another assassinate. I'll be putting up twice, kind of, because both of my cards are going to do it. But Oh, shit. Hang on. No, no, no. Uh, never mind. No wind this time, actually. I was using the... Shit. 
I grabbed the wrong I used my I used my thing to get my potion back so I can put up two elements next round. Okay. I grabbed the wrong cards. Uh, both the, the one I meant was the uh, was the bottom, which sucks because that now means that uh, I can still do the move three and then do fearsome efficiency. So that'll still be a, a strong hit against both of them, but it won't kill them both unless I pull really lucky. So the bottom of uh, power pitch will put up wind. It'll be move three. Didn't we buy blesses last round? Uh, I don't think so. Not the last one, not that I remember. But, I mean, I would have added it to my deck, so if I did, it's it's in there still. So <clears throat> It would be in your modifier deck. Uh, Alright, wind will go up. And then the top of uh, Fearsome Efficiency uh, will be an attack of six, uh, which also puts up wind, so this would be, you know, wind twice, technically. Uh, but anyways, the top, uh, attack six, that I'm going to use a slug crossbow to hit both of them. Because it makes it a you know a, a two hex AOE, so it'll be attack six. I'll start with uh, trick number five, six plus one, uh, and stun. So seven, eight actually with poison and stun. So he's down to two hit points left and stunned. When and you did the uh, attack from the Drake, he was muddled, so we, we backed that into his hit to night shroud, right? Uh, they, she pulled it twice. Yeah. Okay. So one of them, one of them uh, was a null, the you know the regular null, not the curse, uh, against against you, and then the one against the nice route she pulled plus one twice. Uh, all right, and then the other is attack six uh, with I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, shit, should I use it? We're probably gonna have to. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we might be able to just jump over. I'm gonna go ahead and use my power potion as well then for this one, um, which is plus one to the attack. So that'll make an attack of seven uh, against the other Drake there, uh, Drake number four. So attack seven plus three makes an attack of ten, uh, and he's poisoned, so that is enough to kill him, so plus he will die. Poison. So one's still alive, but he's stunned, and the other one's dead. So we got through that okay, but it is two. No, it's only one lost card since I pulled the wrong one, so that worked out okay. Uh, all right, uh, Becky did the Drake. So Fox, can you do the, that hound real quick? Uh, yep. He's up there with a the turtle, so he's not gonna be able to really get anywhere. Nope, nope. Oh, he's gonna attack the turtle then. Yep. Um, so he has an attack plus one. Yeah, that was my fault. I totally forgot to have him go. Uh, That's fine. So the turtle's Oh dead. no, hang on, hang on. Uh, well, no, Ben, run it because that. I... Okay, because I technically forgot to run him on Yeah, my you turn. forgot it on your turn, but he would have stunned the, with his attack, he stuns, which means yeah, the whole so... thing stunned. Yeah. So even if his attack didn't oh, okay. do anything, even if he, you know, did, you know, almost no damage or whatever, he would still be stunned, which means the hound wouldn't get to attack him. So that's what I was saying, that we don't need to worry about that hound up there, because as long as the turtle is trying to hit him every turn, then he'll just stay stunned throughout the rest of the mission. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Ben just forgot to run it on his turn, Fox. So. Fair enough. Okay, so, so the hound just does nothing. Yep. Alright, that brings us to Becky. Uh, oh, shit. I had strengthened, damn it. I forgot I had strengthened. Yeah, you did. So, okay. let me pull again. I don't think it'd be enough because I pulled up. No, I pulled a plus three. I don't think I can beat a plus three unless it was a times two. Let me try. Oh, uh, hang on. No, I pulled a plus one on that guy with the stun. So, let me see. It was plus two with wind. Alright, I. Uh, it would have been one more hit point, but I wouldn't have got the stun, so I'll, I'll leave it. So, anyway, sorry, go ahead. Okay. So, off. I'm going to consume the darkness to turn myself invisible. <laughs> and then I'm going to move three. three Open in the door. Which put me in the doorway. Okay. And then... Oh. Then I will attack this guy for an attack of one, but he will be wounded and stunned. And, uh, stun. Wound. There it is. Cool. Yep. Yeah. And attack. So, two. <laughs> Alright. 
do. And that is my turn. Oh, and I'm invisible. Alright. And then, Ben, that means there's your long rest if you want to do your heal. Oh, uh, heal song. I forgot heal song, too. So you get... Oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, does that get rid of my poison, then? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. The long rest, is that one or two HP? It's two hit points from the long rest, and then one from Fox's heal. Thank you, Fox. I'm actually doing decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a little better off now. Enough that, that if you get the, you know, Doom teleport, you can just jump onto the traps, or onto the end, rather, and then if you die there, it doesn't matter, so. Yeah. Alright, ending the round. Uh, Ocean. I'm actually, well, Fox and I kind of are almost equidistant, but Fox is a little bit closer. Uh, furthest behind at the moment, so. Um, I think I'll go ahead and kill that that spitting drake, and then maybe we just run. Well, do does do people have enough jumps to be able to just jump past these guys and get to the to the exit without dying? I have a jump, so I can I can jump once. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my earring thing to get my items back. Uh, who is anybody at risk of exhaustion from lack of cards from running out of cards? Mm -mm. Yeah. You're not Fox. No, oh, I no, stopped started. my potions. Yeah, yeah I you started, also started late. late. Yeah, so you hadn't had any lost cards at that point. Okay. How about yeah. you? How about you, Ben? Uh, I since I did a long rest, I've we got a decent amount of cards. I only have a few lost because I lost two uh, to being hit, and then I had like a pet. So I'm actually still okay, and I'm at what's that? Not by half health, like a third health. Okay. And I'm just going to be doing my. Doom teleport in there, and then so that'll be one round, and then I'll have to use another round to walk a couple more steps into the thing. Okay. I should survive. Alright, then in that case, I'm gonna try to, you know, I'll, I think I'll still have enough anyways, because I don't have a bunch of move actions that are on the top anyway, so I'll probably kill this Drake, and then just try to run in, but I'll, I'll hang on to that card to, uh, you know, for an emergency, basically, if somebody is, is at risk, because we're gonna get hit as we're trying to move through these Drakes, and that's probably gonna lead to lost cards. So I can try to save those. To, oh shit! That won't save for lost cards. Actually, it'll only work for discards. I mean, depending on how fast you guys move, I'm gonna take this guy out, and then I could also take this guy out the round after. Those aren't those aren't lost cards, right? So I could give nope. you I could give you those cards back, so you don't have to take a rest to get them back. Yeah, I have like two lost cards my entire deck. Okay. What, what was <laughs> that, Sako? I was gonna say I can immobilize those two uh, drakes in the front if you need it. Um, this turn, well, that might be good right now to keep them from moving in. Mm. Well, are you gonna attach your thing to this guy? Yeah, yeah. whichever one's gonna die in the next round. This one. So that way I can move there. This next round. round. This is not this upcoming round. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, so, so Ben yeah. has to go before you then, Becky. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so I'll three. Be, I'll so be right I can... here, and I'll immobilize these two. And now, when are you going, Ben? What round? Uh, or, or... Uh, um, do it. Oh, sorry. Well, when's the earliest you can go? Because mine's either going to be super early or super late. Is the way that card is at my move cards. <laughs> I can go first quarter. Okay. And, Sako, you're going to mobilize these guys? I can immobilize this too if you need it. Buy us a little bit of time so they don't encroach. Alright, then I'm gonna have to go super late then. Just to make sure that I can actually get there to kill him. So, okay. That spreading drake should be dead uh, near the end of the first quarter. That, that one that's in the room with us, it's already almost dead. So it's not much help, but at least it'll be out of the way. Okay, so are you going late, you said? I'm going, yeah, I'm gonna be like fourth quarter, super late. But then I'll kill this guy, and you'll pop in. And if, if Sako has, uh -huh. well, he's already stunned anyways, but if Sako gets, you know, them immobilized, then we don't have to worry no, about it. No, actually, I could go mid quarter and just kill this guy and just use basic movement. Oh, maybe I'll do that so he's done and you're in the room. Right. You here. While Ben's picking there, uh, Fox, uh, initially I was thinking that uh, we couldn't use Baldur's Gate as, like, once we finished Gloomhaven as a, you know, D&D &D night, you mm -hmm. know, game night replacement. 
Uh, but there is actually a mod because it, the reason that we wouldn't obviously is because it's four maximum four players, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a mod that you can remove that limit, so we would still be able to play with five people. Oh, nice, perfect. Yeah. So I mean, the, Ben and Becky's computers can't handle it just yet, but uh, I'm gonna send up some upgraded machines so that they'll be able to. Um, nice. And then but you're doing your teleport thing this round, right? Well, yeah, they won't be able to. If you're going late, he can't, Becky. Oh, sorry. You, well, you have to do him first, right, G? Never yeah, mind. he's got to okay, do him. I had that backwards. And he's got to do him before I go. Yeah, that's so. right. Okay, I had it backwards. Sorry. <clears throat> Which one There was a server lag spike for a second there, G. All right, starting the round. Oh great! <laughs> well, they're gonna. Well, one of them stunned, I guess. So that helps. Yeah, the but... one I'm kit, the one that I'm gonna kill is stunned, so he can't move anyways right okay. now. Uh, Fox, that'll just be one of them if you can run him real quick. Move plus one and then attack minus one. Okay, move plus. Two. But it is gonna be. Oh, uh, shit! He's not gonna be able to reach anybody because he can't move through Becky, and she's invisible, and he can't target her. So he'll he'll move up mm -hmm. to her and then stop. Uh, okay. Uh, he's here? No, this one right here. The only one that's not okay. stunned. Yeah, this raining drake that isn't stunned. But he's going to move up to Becky and he can't move through her because she's invisible, so he's going to stop right there. Okay, that's it. Yep. Awesome. Worked out in our favor there. Thanks, Fox. Uh, ben, your turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, the other one takes a wound, actually, still. So. Why is it not letting me click these now? There we go. Oh, I am at... 22, so I am after the Hound and before Becky. Oh, do you, so, uh, do you need your little token, G? Um, well, we can if you want to, but we know that as soon as Becky kills that guy, I'm just going there anyway. That's so. true, yeah. I dropped it. Anyway, I guess I might as well drop one on him. She already brought it up. I usually oh, yeah, bring them over and I, I forgot. I just forgot to bring it over for you, so... That's what I'm going to be doing, and then by the cart, is going to be a burner, because I'm just waiting for Becky to whack that dude so I can get into the room. All right. Uh, don't forget your heal from the Fox's song, too. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right. And I then, Fox, it. your turn. All right. Uh, so, but when you remove the limit, does that mean it's just, like, completely removed, so you could have more than five? Yeah, it's like, I saw the mod, because I looked at the, the Nexus for it, because, um, like, basically, inventory management is very slow and tedious in the, in the game unfortunately uh so i grabbed a mod for um uh in automatic sorting so that anytime you lose shit it just automatically goes into the correct bags uh which mm -hmm. is super handy anyways there's a mod though to also remove the uh the character limit and the pick the screenshot of it has like 12 different people on the left side like hirelings and shit mm -hmm. obviously we wouldn't play it with that kind of number you know we would probably just play it with the five but still Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna kill that one fox. Oh, but uh, you got your that's your battle goal, right? Did you get it done? No, that's part of it, but not it. Oh, alright. Do we still have to keep them secret or are we allowed sharing with I, the I don't I don't care. You might as well tell it if you want, I don't care. Oh I it's got my next one. Kill five of them. Kill five enemies? Mm hmm Yeah, that's a bit that's It was a bit either ridiculous. that or use no potions at all, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's not going to be feasible. Uh, there's five left, but I don't think we will have uh, you know, damage enough to kill them before they kill us. Maybe. Uh, but anyways, uh, oh, I got mine, yeah, because mine was just to cause a trap to be sprung, which is what I, I intentionally walked them onto the traps to kill them. So. Greg's going to cause a lot of problems. What? Trying to keep them alive and let Fox kill them? Uh, no, no damage? Gonna, that's, that's where I was going to move to so I could immobilize everybody. Oh, this Drake being here? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, he moved there on, on his turn. Uh, but he couldn't. He actually would have moved past, but because Becky's blocking the door and invisible, he couldn't attack her. Uh, all right, the Hound would go, but he's stunned from Turtle. Uh, ben, you forgot to move the Turtle again if you want to. Uh, it doesn't matter. We can just ignore them up there. He would eventually kill the Hound. He is. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But by the time I get there, he's either going to be dead or not, but it really wouldn't matter. So yeah. coming after us. So. Well, he stuns every turn, and nothing else is going to get close to him, so there's no way yeah. for the Hound to, to win, basically. 
Uh, so we can ignore that. Uh, that makes it my turn, and then Becky. Um, I, I think we're okay, though, Sarko, like, as long as we can get through it. You know, the, the, this one's going to die from an assassination uh, at the end of this round, and this one being immobilized doesn't matter at the moment, but you can probably still immobilize him uh, on your turn here because Becky's going to... She won't be there. She's going to be moving here in a second. Yeah. So you'd probably still be able to immobilize the, the only one that would still remain. Um, all right, so I was going to kill that spitting rig, but Fox got him, so let me do... Should I change this up then? No, I guess it's still not a move on the bottom anyway, so... Uh, but that's a melee, so it'll be move three with my boots. One, actually, I'm not going to use the boots then. I'll just go one, two, three. Yeah, because I can't get through anyways. So I will land here, and I'll loot that coin, uh, and I will do throwing away. Just toss the, the other card. And that is it for my turn. Uh, Becky, your turn. Okay. So we are going to... Does anybody need any element up? Not me. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Nope. All right, then we're going to put darkness up, consume it, and then re-put darkness up and consume this air. Oh, hang on. Uh, sorry. Well, go. Uh, uh, one, what two, do you need? I can. I uh, I'll hold on to it. I was gonna say I can. I can move. Like I can get this Drake out of the way. I can force one of these guys to move too, just to have them out of the way so that people can walk through here. Because we, right now, I don't want people to be stuck. So Sako, the mobilization you were gonna do, do you need them to be? you know, at a certain range or anything? Like, if I get this Drake out of the way, would that be helpful for anybody? Uh, for my spell... Because you, uh, you needed to be in this spot, I need to be, saying, right? Uh, yes, uh, only because from that spot I could have immobilized both of them. I have a range of three for the uh, mobilization. Uh, I'll move him here, then. This one is going to die, so you can ignore him. She, Becky's going to assassinate okay. him now anyways. But I'll move this one here. Mobilize out of the way, at least we could run past yeah, him or exactly. block him. Yeah, so I, I use, I'll use my Faithful Compass to move him here. Uh, Alright, mm -hmm. go ahead, Becky. Sorry. I was just getting him out of the way so everybody can still move. I'm going to jump this. And go over here. So that's just basic move. And then I'm going to consume everything and kill this guy. Okay. Uh, does anybody need a uh, element. Mm -mm. Alright, then I'm just gonna put darkness up for next round. Get yourself another invisible next round. Yep. Oh, and I am using my cloak this time, so I'm gonna stay invisible where I am. Okay. Um, then, so. when you teleport, do you land on the space that they died on? Yep. Yes. Okay. He had a mouthful of chips. Ooh, shaking his head. <laughs> I looted the coin of the one that I was standing on. Alright. Is that of your turn, Becky? Yeah, that's it. Alright, Sokka, that brings us to you. Okay. Let's do this. All three of those spitting drakes are going to be right on. Uh, it's just going to all be at Ben. Ben's screwed. You're going to lose all three cards, G. Well, I guess you have enough hit points, you might survive it. Move four, one, two, one, two, three, four, boop. Cast uh, grasping, uh, grasping Vermin, so I'm gonna immobilize this guy here. Attack modifier up. Doesn't matter, because it was zero damage anyway. So now you are immobilized. Nice. I just applied the uh, song from Fox's song into you too, Sarko. Oh, thanks. Oh, your shield would be off now too. All right, so he's out of the way now. So now, now I'm everybody do a uh, short rest as well. So okay. give me a moment. Sure. Um, so everybody has a, a clear shot now, except for this last line of Drake. So if you've got a jump, we can just jump over them and get straight onto the exits. And then, you know, if, if everybody gets there, we can end the, the mission. Uh, otherwise, if we need to, you know, kill a way through, then we can try to, you know, knock out one of the regulars or something there. I can kill this guy next round. Okay. All right, uh, up. Fox, uh, Sako, while you're doing your short rest, I'll go ahead and run these drakes then. Um, and then you can do the next one, Sako. Uh, so that'd be this elite here will attack Ben, because Becky is invisible, so all three of these guys are going to be going to Ben. Uh, it Oops. is an attack of... <laughs> it's an attack of seven from this elite with muddle. An attack seven before modifier, so let's see if it's a curse. It is a curse. So Yay. Ben, ben survives <laughs> one attack. <laughs> 
uh, and the next. Uh, it'll be this normal here. Uh, range of four. Yeah, you still got range. Uh, so what it is an attack of five. Uh, minus one, so four damage to Ben. And muddle. Well, probably doesn't Did he matter. get a song too? Uh, well, he my already turn. had his turn. Yeah, he had his turn. Yeah, it's on my turn. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm right, muddled. All right, and then the last one is another attack of five at Ben with a curse. Jeez, there it is. Ah. See, these curses coming back. Yeah. Big yes. ass. So Ben doesn't lose any cards. He gets to survive another day without losing any cards. All right. Uh, next round. Okay, Fox and I are both at the back there. Um, well, I don't want to waste a jump over that rock, though. I guess if we're going to have to, we're probably going to have to kill at least one of these drakes to be able to punch through. Becky, are you going to assassinate can, one? Yeah, I can assassinate this regular guy back here. Okay. And in so that it's just case, a straight shot down. Okay, so I could jump over the rock then, yeah, and then just a straight shot to the back. Uh, Fox, you have enough movement to be able to, to make it through? Uh, I should. With that rock in the way, too? Uh, with the rock in the way, maybe not, because I already used my thing. I think I get it back on a sh rest, though, so I'll just have to do a rest to get it back. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use... Ah, oh, shit. I have to short rest too. I'm running low on cards. Oh, I think I got my stamina potion back. Which is all three of these, actually. I only have three cards in the discard, anyways. Just low. Um, actually, yeah, if I use the stamina potion, my stamina potion, get a card back, I can land here, and this guy would have to be pushed too. Could I just push him like. I couldn't push him, like, sideways. You'd have to be here to be able to push him to here. Yeah, I will be. I'll be there yeah, if you're so gonna I can be... kill this guy. Yeah, if you're going there, yeah. you can push him to there. Yeah, you can push the elite okay. south, yeah. And if you're also assassinating that guy, that gives us two. That gives us, you know, well, I guess with a rock in the way, it's still kind of only one, but that still also reduces the, the damage output for, you know, risking of them attacking us. I will use my potion to get that back then. Right. I still have, you know, if anybody needs it, I still have uh, range five of me. I can give you two of your discards back. Oh, shit. From scroll. What? They're both super late cards. Uh, I don't think anybody's close enough right now that that's too much of an issue. Ben kind of is. Ben, do you have a jump that you can get over? Yep, I'm going to hop right over them. Okay. Because I'm going to hop on one of them spaces. i got to move a five, too, so I can go on one of the spaces yeah, one of the further, further south. Back. Nice. So in case somebody... Yeah, that'll Just almost definitely help. Yeah, I'm going to try, and I'm going to move right here if possible. Okay. And then I'll guarantee I'm going to hit this on that next turn. Okay. I'll try and hit this one since this, this is going to be kind of a harder one to get to. I'll waste the jump to get through here. Okay. Ben's going to go probably to the bottom left, I think, is what, what are you saying there, right, G? With a move five? Yep, I got a move five, so I'm going to the bottom left corner. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I can get... Or I don't have, well, none of them are going to be close enough to bother with a push, actually. So I'm going to put wind up in case anybody needs it. I'm going to poison these fools, too. Okay. Um, when do I need to go? All right. I'll, I'll throw an immobilize in there uh, to try to you know, keep them from blocking our, our you know, gap that we're going to use, uh, depending on where we make it. I'll be going uh, first quarter. Oh, shit, sorry. All right. Uh, I'm at 24, so I am after Fox. Spitting Drakes are first. Uh, Sako, if you want to do them. Oh, well, that causes some problem. Well, I guess it doesn't matter for assassination, right? Okay, all right, well, they are shielding themselves. <laughs> they are, the, the heal doesn't matter. They are strengthening themselves and, and healing, them, healing themselves. So they now have shield two, but if we're not hitting them, then it doesn't, you know, well, assassination doesn't count. Um, yeah, it just says kill. Yeah. Uh, right no more. A normal target. We're not yeah. getting hit, though. That's good. Yep. Otherwise, I'd be losing cards again right now. <laughs> yep. Strength on them here. Yep. All right, uh, Ben, it's your turn. 
Very ominous. They have a friggin', you know, like a like a, a uh, offensive death. line. Yeah, it's like a football offensive line or defensive line in this case, uh, trying to prevent us from being able to get through, and they just shield it and strengthen themselves. <laughs> All right, uh, well, if we could get them down and kill them, that'd be great. But if we can't, let's just try and kill or move one and go from there. Yeah, Becky's gonna assassinate one and force move the other so that there will be enough. Uh, there'll okay. be enough space for us to be able to get through, but I don't think killing him is going to be feasible with as many hit points as they have, especially trying to fight through shields now. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to this spot here, and you are assassinating number four, right, babe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dune. And then this guy will be pushed up here. Oh, the lead's getting moved? Yeah, she's moving yeah. the lead down. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, does it matter which one I hit? I got to hit a five. And I can ignore a shield, so... Does it matter which other one I And ignore besides. a shield? Uh, yeah, I, I need my bow to ignore the shield. So. Well, might as well... Oh, shit, if you can... Well, no, because Fox, you'd need four more, right? Mm hmm You needed five kills? Yeah, so I need four more. Yeah, that's. there's just no way. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> fine. Totally... It was either that or use no potions, and I figured neither was going to happen, so yeah. it's a moot point. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't matter then, G. All right, then. Then I am going to... I guess I'll hit the regular one. Five. Yep. An attack of five at range of five. I know I use my piercing bow to ignore shields. All right. On fire of nothing. So, <laughs> I'm not doing anything. All right. And then range is to Becky or Fox. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move four. And then I'm going to... Was that four? Yep, that was four. Weren't you... Where was she? You were right, right next to me, that's three. One, One two, oh. three. Yeah. yeah. Four, there we go, okay. Um, that's a plus one, so... And that's it. Alright. That brings us to my turn. Doing the bottom of... Power pitch for a move three, using my boots to make it four, to jump over the rock. One, two, three, four, to get me there. Then using the top of center mass for an attack three at range three with an immobilize. Uh, hmm. Initially, I was thinking the spinning drake, but it kind of doesn't matter if he moves. I'm just going to immobilize the rending drake again, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot this guy back here, just so that he doesn't he can't chase after us, I guess, because it doesn't really matter if this guy moves. Uh, I guess he, he you know what, it, he could, it, theoretically he could block that spot, so I may as well, actually. Uh, alright, attack three, minus two, so, uh, well, actually with the shield that does no damage, but he is immobilized at least. Alright, uh, that is it for my turn. Uh, so the hound we can ignore. Uh, Sokka, your turn. Alright, it's coming up. It was an excellent use of your toad. <laughs> yeah, really. Keeping that Very guy from being able yep. to move up at all. Cool. Alright, we're gonna Just... go ahead and move four right here. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna cast the uh, vile pestilence, poisoning everyone. Uh, I'm just gonna drop it on the boulder, poisoning these three. First things first, Drake number two, attack modifier, zero. So that's just a damage of one. Uh, actually, sh do they all have shields or just the top two? All of them. Oh, this one still needs a shield. So that shield didn't do anything then. So he didn't take any damage. That's fine. All right. So I'll just poison all three real quick. Poison and poison. All right. Attack modifier for the middle one, negative one, so it's a wash. Attack modifier for the top one, plus two, so you take one damage for him. That's and that's good. it. All right. Uh, Rending Drake is no longer immobilized, and he is going to do a move minus two, attack plus one two targets, which will be Becky and Fox. Uh, hang on. 
Becky, are you you're still I'm invisible? I'm still invisible until okay. the end of my next turn. Actually, uh, would it be okay if I would have used my Staff of Zorn with that as well? Yeah. That Those would have do. added uh, added poison and muddle, so really I'm just muddling all three of them now. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, all right, so... Status effects. So because this he can't get to anybody else because the rock is blocking and it's just Becky, or just Fox, rather, and he can't hit Becky because she's invisible, so it's just going to be only at, even though it's supposed to be two targets, uh, only at... Uh, Fox is Tooth Singer, so for an attack of seven at Fox uh, with wound. Null. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> uh, these, these extra, you know, brutal seven damage hits with wounds and shit, and, and they're pulling. That's when they're, you know, finally pulling curses. All right. Uh, Becky, your turn. Okay. So we are going to. Move up here. Push this guy back. We're gonna consume the darkness and just kill this guy. There we go. And that is my turn. Alright. And there is our gap for getting into the exit. One, two, three. Okay, so I can oh, land here. The, What's that? The most difficult spot to hit is going to be this one right here since it's guarded. Yeah. I'll go ahead and take that on the next turn. Okay. So everyone else just focus on the easier three to hit. I'll, I'll clear shot. this one. Well, if, if we're going to make it this turn, which I'm not sure if Fox can make it that far this turn anyways. One, two, four. That'd be a five. Do you have a move five, Fox? Uh, no. Okay. Sorry. All right, so I'll be able to get here, and then on the next turn I'll move out of your way, Fox, so that you can get that one, because that's presumably the one you're going to need, the, the closest one. So, so it won't be I this turn. Here. Okay. Yeah, you're you're closer, right. so yeah, if you got to move three, you can make it there. Okay. And then Sako will be here. Uh, Sako and Becky, you guys can do that this turn. Yeah. Okay. You can get there this turn. Yeah. I can get here this turn, but we'll still need one more turn after that for Becky to be able, or for Fox to be able to catch up. So on the turn after that, I'll just move out of the way, and then she can get to here. So Fox, you'll need uh, a move three, and then a move two, or a move two, and then three, whichever way. You want me to immobilize these two, so that way they don't uh, block the door again? Uh, this guy's already immobilized for this round, but if you can immobilize... I mean, yes, basically, but but this one here is, is, uh, is still technically mobile. The other one I immobilized with my center mass. Okay, let me make a change real quick. Yeah, that will help then, because that way they, they can't rush in and block I the hole there. I can also muddle and curse one of these guys. So, and, well, attack them. But Alright. I'll make sure these two are immobilized, so you have a straight path. Alright. Um, is he... No, he's on the other side. Alright, so that won't do... All right, I'm just throwing cards away. Uh, I'll be going pretty early. Of 20, so I am after Becky. No, sorry. Jesus. That, that, over and over and over Fox. again tonight. After Fox, <laughs> yep. <laughs> the Drakes are shielding and healing again, so we can ignore them and just leave what's already on there. Because uh, they didn't take any damage, so yeah, they're still still fine. Oh, hang on. That's the Spitting Drakes. The Rending Drake is healing and shielding, so uh, I'll take care of that, though. Uh, Fox. Jesus. Becky, your turn. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Your guys' names are are I, I hate that, that almost all fantasy does this whole compound word thing where everything is just two words and they turn it into one, and if, like Blizzard does this with everything, and I, I can't stand a whole lot of their games for that reason. But your character names up on the or Soothsinger and Night Shroud are too similar. Three. Play Harold and so on. So I'm going there, and I'm going to just I guess I'll just attack the elite. For four at range four with a muddling curse. Alright. 
God damn it. Oh, hang on. That oh, was whoops, that was the enemy. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. I'm going to shuffle that one back in. Healing one. Okay. And that was rolling. Add target. Add a target. Nice. So we'll hit the other guy. Oh, there's Plus one. shield. So oh. five. No, they put the shields up on the last turn, so they still have this turn. So it's just a shield of one? Uh, yes, wasn't it? It was heal two, shield one, I think. And strengthen? I think so. Okay. Alright, so it's four. Shield makes it three. Plus one makes it four five. Four, and then the poison is five. Yep. So five damage. Alright, and then I gotta drop from the other guy. No, or do target. I just. No, it's the same. Yeah, it, it, it okay. isn't a separate target, or it isn't a separate attack. It's the same attack, you just add a target, so. Sweet. Alright, All right. then there we go. Oh, and I get a heal from Fox's song. Alright. That is and, my turn. And Fox, it is your turn. Oh, well, and they're. Well, we'll just leave their muddles on. They're still. Yeah, you just leave the muddles on. That's fine. Alright, um. Three. And your wound. And I'm going to be landing here this turn, Fox, but I'll move out of the way and I'll just make sure to go before you on the next turn so that you can land into that okay. spot. All right, so Hound we can ignore. Uh, oh, it's me, actually. And then Sokka, you're up after. I am... Oh, I'm just moving forward. I am not using the top of Rip in the Flesh because there isn't anything to loot, so... One, two, three. Oh, there is one to loot. Never mind. There is a coin right here. I will take it. All right, that is it for my turn. So I'll go your turn. All right, I'm going to kick on my boots so I'll be able to jump and have extra movement. I don't really need it, but we'll go ahead and jump over this. Movement four. One, two, three, four, plus one, five there. And then I will use the uh, immobilize. Uh, against this, so as to avoid hitting you, I'll cast it over here. On that rock, sure. Yeah, so it's, mm -hmm. it's half the hex, but that's fine, yeah. Yep. And then uh, that's going to be attack zero. He's going to be immobilized now. Boop, there you go. And attack modifier is stunned as well. Nice. That actually is very helpful. Oh, shit, that was chill. Sorry. Uh, didn't matter. I actually used it on one earlier, too, and just left it. It looks close enough like the icon has left it. Gotcha. There we go, and another modifier. Poison again. Wow, this guy's getting destroyed here. Curse again. <laughs> Add another curse. Add another curse in there. All Poison right, again. Poison How many again. freaking rolling cards are you going to pull? Jeez. Dang. Four in a row. There you go. There you go. Plus zero. Okay. So, no damage. Straight up Marlboro attack right there. Yeah, really? And I am there. We're good to go. All right. Man, your turn. Ready? I used every one of my item cards, <laughs> the equipment cards. I maxed out. Yeah, I, I was getting low, too. I think I am, too. Yeah, I have... That was rough. I could survive three more rounds as long as I didn't lose cards uh, to damage. But other than that, yeah, I was getting low, too. How many experience points do we get for this? Uh, this mission is... 14 is the bonus um, nice. for the for the mission. And then Oh. Damn it. There was a there was a thing I was supposed to read after we finished the first room. Uh, we'll go do, well, I mean, there, there really isn't any way for us to fail at this point anyways. Go ahead, G. We'll finish it off and then I'll read off the, the remainder of it. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna use the bottom of a moment's piece. I don't need to move, but it's going to be a heal of two. I'm also going to use my ring of haste to use the bottom with that card twice, so we heal of four. All right. Just in case I need to take a hit. Box, if possible. Are yeah, they Push still over there? As long as they don't kill Fox right now, which they're next to uh, Sako as well. And actually, they would have a disadvantage on Fox anyways. Cause One yeah. of them has a disarm anyway, because I attacked it and got disarm in my rolling thing. Oh, nice. Okay. And this guy's stunned. Drake one is stunned because yeah. I forgot him. So. Yeah. So even the elite. All right. And then I'm going to try to hit. Oh uh, fuck. The regular one actually. What? <laughs> well. Oh no. No, we're okay. We're okay. It's gonna hit Sako instead because the only one that can attack the elite stunned. 
The only one that can yeah. attack is this one, and he's equidistant between Sako and Fox. Yeah, it's Fo totally fine. Yeah, if Fox well, got no, stunned right now, it's disarmed, it's isn't he? I thought it was this one that was disarmed. Mm -hmm. The this left one's one. disarmed. Oh, it is this one. Okay, all right. Well, never mind. He doesn't get to do anything then. Um, maybe one of them are attacking. Yeah, because this one, the one on the right stunned, and Fox disarmed yeah. this one. Right. So yeah, so she can't get well, stunned. Me. Which worked nice. out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It probably will go through a shield, but I haven't attacked a two or range of four. I'm gonna try to get spinning drake too, see if I can actually get a good modifier. Oh, sorry, Jeff, I thought you were done already. Nope. Status spinning. effect into the dark zone over there. Yep. I didn't go through a shield, but he still takes poison damage since I tried to swing, right? Yep. Yeah, sucker. That's it for me. Alright. And now ending the round, and now we can just go ahead and end it here, Fox. You have a move three, right? Or move two, at least. I have a move two, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and end it, um, so I can read over this because I've got a delivery that's about to arrive. My groceries. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give myself an experience from using a card to hit one of those guys. Then for if this you, round. yeah, if you if you have cards that would be experience wise, go ahead. Uh, and, you know, apply what you would, anyways. But there's really isn't any way for us to fail at this point, as long as Fox can make it in there. Uh, so. Do you want to move myself in? So we're good. Yeah. Uh, after we had opened that first door where the wolves were, it says, You get through the wolves, thankful that the snow didn't slow you down too much. You assume the fight is over, but the screeching begins again, this time much closer. You look through the white storm and see red shapes scurrying towards you, and that was obviously where all the drakes were. And then... The conclusion is, Everything within you wants to stop, but you fall over and rest in the snow. Uh, but you know you would get up... You know you wouldn't... You would fall over and rest in the snow, but you know you wouldn't get up. Uh, you know you would get torn to pieces by red giant claws, so you press forward beyond all reason until finally the drake stop pursuing and the mountain summit is in sight. The wind calms as you approach the peak. It is a nice change from the torrent of biting pain that had been before, or that had come before. The air is thin, but you are above the clouds now and the weather is relatively peaceful. It makes it very easy to see the giant winged lizard perched atop a jagged boulder. Welcome to my mountain, intrepid adventurers. The gravelly voice booms forth from the creature, surprising you with its eloquence. I hate to back you into a corner, but now that you've come to, come to me face to face, your options are unfortunately limited. I am not particularly hungry at the moment, so I could be convinced to let you live if you agree to help me in a small matter. A, a group of Savas have subdued me in my sleep and removed one of my flame glands, presumably to study. I cannot let this insult go unpunished and would greatly appreciate you taking taking it back from their city, killing as many of them as you can in the process. The drake clacks its claws against a stone perch in anger. Uh, so helping him would be mission number 33. Or, if you wish to be cliche, the creature says with a sigh, you could simply attack me. Slay the dragon, save the princess, and all that. Except I have no princess, and I'm not a dragon, just a drake who has lived long enough, uh, lived a long time, and does not wish to end his life today. So if you do attack me, I will fight back, and you will most assuredly die. And that's mission number 34. So that is our, our choice for next time, is either assist the drake and kill the Savas, or kill the drake. Hmm. Alright, let's wrap this one. Let me see here. Oh, uh, let me grab my cards and my stuff off the board here. Nope, not that. I got three coins. Drop those. Thank God somebody picked up some coins. Yeah, I got them out of luck, too. I don't think I picked too. anything up this time. Yeah, I just got mine out of luck just because I happened to be with my uh, my card for retrieving the favorite. lets me loot and happened to be near enough to where things were. And there's my favorite. Grab that. All right, now we'll end the mission here. If I can find the thing to do that again. There it is. All right, scenario one. Oh, I didn't read the rewards. Uh, reward... Oh, this one didn't have anything other than gold and stuff. The next one does. The next one has, like, prosperity and gold and shit. Uh, well, that's, I guess, if we choose to kill the dragon and didn't look at the other one. All right, deleting the map. There we go. All right, was that enough for you to level, Taco? 363? 363 now, and I did meet my mission goal, so I added two more ticks. Cool. Uh, I also got a tick. I got mine. Mine was just to well, cause a trap to be sprung. Um, Actually, I need to ask. What's up? Uh, it says collect fewer money tokens than any other character. You're the only one that collected some. Everybody <laughs> else has zero. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm saying if you're tied. I got one. Yeah, I'm saying if you're tied, that counts. 
Okay, then I got a tick. Yeah, if you're tied for zero, that's that's <laughs> close enough. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to have less unless you like throw money on the ground as we're in the mission. So if you, uh, you get negative, what you? I wasn't paying close attention because I misread my card. Uh, I, I thought it was kill a monster while I have advantage, but it was actually kill a monster while I have disadvantage. Did I kill anything myself? Because I think I was muddled pretty often on this round. <laughs> So. Did you? You might have. Well, you, I don't your know pets if I got any kills myself. Though. Did your, well, okay. your, well, your pet would have probably... killed that wolf? That would have counted. Yeah, he probably would have yeah. killed that wolf. So, okay, but I got to take that because it was kill a monster while I have disadvantage. So, gotcha. Lucky. And that was fifty-one, so three sixty-one. Uh, still a long ways off from hitting a uh, level eight. Oh, but I did get a perk though, because put that last tick. Alright, uh, Sokka, did you get your battle goal? Yes, I did. You already mark off your tick? I got two ticks, yep. Cool. Not a. Okay, they, okay you, you, it's not another perk then, you just have two ticks out of No, no, two ticks, I need one more tick. Gotcha. Alright, Fox, you did not get yours. Did you get any progress on your personal? Yeah, I got one, because the thing I killed had poison on it, so I killed one thing and it had poison, so yay! <laughs> that works out. Uh, That's Becky, that, that was in the Copperneck Mountains. Did you already have one for the Copperneck or no? Uh, I don't think you did. Yeah, I've already got You did? I do. Okay, all right. It's checked off. And Ben was to kill two or more enemies on the same turn. You, you didn't kill enough to be able to get that. No, That's for I, sure. No, yeah. All right. all right, so next time then, our choices are... I'm going to mark this one off. The next time is the either help the... It's the end of this chain, but it's either help the dragon and kill the Savas or kill the dragon. So we can decide, obviously, next time if you guys want. But, uh... Okay. Um, for card, I think I'm just going to take an add plus one invisible 